Join us today on the channel for some Battlefleet Gothic where we have the Chaos Fleet against the fleet of the mighty Imperium. Hello and welcome to the channel with myself Sophie and me Alex and we've got something special for you today We have got a Battlefleet Gothic. Yes. I've been wanting to play this for so long I've been nagging you and Dan <laughs> for what six months? Yeah, about 12 that. months something like that, like that In fact, you've painted this fleet. Yes. You've painted all the models today. And the terrain. I, I, I've had an entire rule book printed. <laughs> I've removed every single barrier I can think of and invited you around. I've even fed you this evening yes. to get you to play this game with me. <laughs> so I am a full of lasagna, <laughs> full of beans. We, you have maybe seen one uh, other Battlefleet Gothic report on the channel, but now Sophie's at the helm. Oh dear! And she has <laughs> not got her full battle cruiser license yet. <laughs> what are you bringing, Sophie? What fleet are you using? So I am bringing the Imperium ah. uh, because. They've got armoured prowls and stuff, and it's good for ramming. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're not wrong. You're damn right I'm not wrong. So, um, this is... We're not 100% confident. Well, I'm not 100% confident. Neither am I. Yeah, it's, it's, we are still getting to grips with the rule system. So, this isn't quite a tutorial, uh, because we don't want to tell you the wrong things. <laughs> <laughs> But this is certainly a, a more of a learning game to us, so we will probably talk through the rules a little bit more than normal. We're not going to go into too much depth. Like What we'd like here is, ideally, you can tell what's going on, even if you don't play Battlefield Gothic. And if you do play Battlefield Gothic, you obviously know what's going on. Uh, but we're not going to go into every single minute of exactly how the system works. That said, the rules, it's a fan-made version of the rules that are available for free. We'll stick some links in the description if you are interested. And if you would be interested in us doing some tutorials at some point, it's something we could look into once we're more confident with rules. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> because there's been nothing worse than a tutorial that is wrong. <laughs> Quite. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see more Battlefleet Gothic, more Titanicus, more Heresy, more 40k Sigma, don't forget to subscribe. The link is below, obviously. Um, we do also have our Patreon, buy us coffee, and of course our affiliate link for Composite Games. Yes. Enough ramble then. We should do some lists. Let's do some lists. So the lists. The lists. I forgot to mention what army I'm even playing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing Chaos, obviously. Uh, they are technically the Berserker fleet of Korn, but they haven't got anything coordinated about them. They're, they are a Chaos Navy fleet. We are playing only 750 points, so there's no battleships in this. It's just cruisers and escorts. My flagship is the Hecate Heavy Cruiser, which is this one here. It's sort of mixed between uh, a carrier, so it can launch attack craft, and it's also got some weapons batteries on the side. And for its prowl weapons, it's got a standard weapons battery. And then being a heavy cruiser, it's got dorsal lances as well, so those can fire front, left, and right. We've got two regular cruisers. We have an Inferno that is armed with lances and weapons batteries. What's the, are you going to carry on gesturing for me? I, it's, it's like your exits and prowl batteries are located <laughs> here, here, <laughs> and here. <laughs> Uh, so it's a combination of um, lances and weapons batteries. It is medium range. All Chaos ships are quite long range, actually. Mm. So they are range 45 for all of its weapons, which is longer than anything you've got. 45 centimetres? Yes! Uh, Battlefleet Gothic uses centimetres, which is a really weird thing to get your head around. Uh, and everything is much smaller than you think it is. <laughs> um, so it's sort of a, a medium range brawler. And then we have a slaughter, which is the same weapon configuration, but the other way around. It's got its lances at the front rather than the back. Uh, that one has more potent weapons batteries, but it's only range 30. Very good. However, it is slightly faster than most cruisers. It moves 30 centimeters rather than 25, and it can go really fast on an all head full order, a full extra 5 to 6 centimeters of movement. Then for my escorts, I've got a single squadron of idolaters. They are they're quite nifty for escorts, actually. Mm. Uh, only one hit, like all escorts are, but they've got both a single-shot lance battery and a two-shot weapons battery on each of them, and they ignore the column shift range penalty 
the firing at targets that are over 30 centimetres away. Ah, very nice. So all, this whole fleet, despite being corn, it's a bit weird, is designed to keep you at bay. Maintain separation, don't go too close until you're wounded and go in for the killing blow. That's the plan, anyway. Oh, last last thing I have, I have an upgrade for the Hecate Heavy Cruiser. It has a Chaos Space Marine crew, so it'll have plus one to its leadership, which we will generate momentarily because it's randomly generated leadership. You can tell it's an old game, can't you? <laughs> uh, and it's also got a plus one to any hit and run, boarding actions, that sort of thing. Anything it does where we're actually attacking you with the Chaos Marines. So when I start launching Dread Claws and like at you, that'll be uh, better than normal. In the event of emergency, chain axes are located underneath your seat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we are the emergency. <laughs> the chain axe is located in your cranium. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's my fleet, so it's 750 points. Berserkers would look at the little sheet and go, ooh, ooh. <laughs> you know, as you always do. <laughs> um, what right. have you got, Sophie? I have an Imperial fleet. Now, this is, I am borrowing one of our friend James' fleet. And I understand he's built this fleet as the maximum amount of torpedo per point uh, <laughs> available now. I'm not sure if this is any good, <laughs> but uh, we're going to give it a damn good go. In fact, Alex was very good sport and said, would you like to play with the Chaos Fleet? And I'm like, no. Now I will be the Noble Imperium. Okay. <laughs> and fire torpedoes! And ram. And ram. And ram, as one tends to do. So, I have uh, an Overlord Battlecruiser. Um, this will be my... Flagship. Flagship doesn't actually mean anything because we're not paid yeah. for any admirals, but it, it, for narrative purposes, yes. that is where High Admiral Sophie is uh, yes. on the bridge. Um, it has a power ram, uh, and it also has a targeting array. Yes. Yes. Which uh, means it shifts one column. Yeah, we'll, we'll explain in brief how the gunnery table works. Basically, it's better at shooting yeah. with its weapons batteries. I then have three torpedo dauntlesses. These are all identical. Two. Two? One, two, three. You have two with torpedoes. And you have oh. one with a lance. Oh, which one's the lance? The this one hasn't got torpedoes in front. Ah. <laughs> I am learning. <laughs> it's a borrowed fleet, as we said. <laughs> so um, I, I could have had more torpedoes. James? Uh, yeah, it's very yeah. strange. Um, okay, I've got two torpedo ones and one lance. The lance is actually, I think, slightly better. Uh, but I'll see if I can wingle wangle it uh, and then I have two squadrons of three cobras and these are the torpedo escorts yes see if I can get hang of these uh, I know torpedoes can be tricky uh, ramming can be trickier and I'm sure the two combine very well <laughs> <laughs> see that torpedo follow it in <laughs> <laughs> I, I look forward to seeing this what, seeing this tried. Um, is there anything else to add for your fleet? I don't think there is. I don't think there is either. So we will roll up some leadership and then we will be back with the scenario and map once we've rolled that all up. Yes. We are deployed. We are playing Cruiser Clash for this game. Uh, it's basically it's the, it's the default mission. It is kill each other. Basically, for every point of hull damage we do, it's a victory point. For every kill we get, it's a further three. And if we cripple them instead, it's a further one. Nothing more to it than that, really. There we go. Um, Sophie, what do you get for your leadership? Because as we said, it is randomly generated in Gothic for yes. every single ship. So it was rather swingy. I have for my overlord, my overlad, he's leadership seven. Yes. Uh, for this squadron, they will be leadership six. Oof, okay. They will be leadership eight. Okay. Uh, for my for Sir Lancelot, uh, Very good. he will be he's leadership six. Okay. Um, but he doesn't have to reload. That's no. fine. Lancers don't need reload. And then we have leadership seven mm -hmm. and leadership nine. Okay. And you did decide to squadron your torpedo dauntlesses, didn't you? I did. Which will mean that you're using the higher leadership in the squadron. Yes. To briefly explain how leadership works, it's uh, much like old 40k or like heresy, I suppose, where when you take a leadership check, you roll two d six. If you roll equal to or lower than your leadership, you pass. If you don't, you fail. So higher leadership is better. Yeah. For my fleet, uh, let's go through it. So my Idolater Squadron, or Idolater, not sure, I think it's Idolater. They are leadership seven. For my Hecate Heavy Cruiser, which is, where is he? He is this one over here. He is leadership 10. I rolled a nine, or rolled a, ten, uh, rolled a nine, 
And then plus one for being Chaos Space Marines, that's good. For my Inferno, we are on Leadership 7, and then my Slaughter is Leadership 6, which is, uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's going to be fine. Hopefully I won't need to take any orders on him. Uh, deployment is as you see it. We are facing each other down. Uh, we have a bit of terrain on the field. We have some asteroid fields. Uh, these cannot be, you cannot draw a line of sight through them. And if you fly through them, there's a chance that you will smash into asteroids, chipping away at your shields, or outright taking damage. Uh, escorts can do it more easily because they're smaller. Hmm. And if you do all the head full, which is basically go very, very fast, the check, the check is even harder. Which is also how you ram. Yes. So it's entirely possible to try and ram an enemy through an asteroid field and kill yourself in the process. Yeah. Which is what we're all here to see, so... <laughs> <laughs> that shall do my best. Uh, so yes, deployment is as you see it. I have grouped my fleet up quite a bit, using this asteroid field for a bit of cover from Sophie's overlord over there. Uh, Sophie, you've screened with your escorts, I think? Mm -hmm. With your Dauntlesses following up and your battle cruiser on your right flank, holding it down on its own, but with massive cryptic sight lines across that whole segment of the table. Yes. That's all there is to do. <laughs> so it, felt, it felt like you're doing a, a weather report, and we've got over here the Overlord Battle Cruiser yes. with sight lines spreading out throughout the southwest. <laughs> <laughs> We're expecting heavy rain uh, and firepower across the sector. Yes. Ex exactly, <laughs> very good. <laughs> Uh, all we have to do is to roll he's going first. It's just a roll off, yep. so uh, go ahead. Okay, Ooh. well, let's try it again. Six. A six. Then yes. uh, do you want to go first or second? I will go. I'm going to go second because then Alex shows me how to play the game. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back in a moment then for Chaos Turn One. Turn one for the Chaos Fleet. Yes, we have done some movement. So Gothic is not an I go or it is an I go you go game. It's not alternating affirmation. So I move my entire fleet, shoot with my entire fleet, fire my ordnance, then it's Sophie's turn. Mm -hmm. So my movement. I have moved up with my cruisers on this side, and I've had my idolaters go forward as well to give me a bit of screening, because you have to pass leadership check in Gothic to shoot at anything other than the closest eligible target. So escorts are good for this for getting in the way. This ship here, my Slaughter, who has very low leadership, somehow passed leadership check and managed to go all ahead full. Yes. Which is, you go your maximum movement speed, plus 46 or 5d6 for the ship, because it has improved thrusters. Mm -hmm. So it yeasted itself 46 centimetres straight forward, uh, closing at very high speeds. However, all orders in Gothic have a downside. The downside to all ahead full is all your weapons are half effectiveness. Uh, we keep the orders dice there, so we can remember what orders he's on. And they just so happen to be the same orders dice as Titanicus. Yes, uh, they, they've, I think the same ones as Epic as well. Like, ah. We've used the same dice for years, which is quite cool because you maybe already had them. Yes. Um, so we're going to go on to some shooting now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kick things off with this ship here, which is the Inferno Cruiser. Mm -hmm. This is my medium range one. I've split up my weapons to pick my different targets, and I am going to put my broadsides here, which is a weapons battery and a lance battery, into these escorts. Yes. You nominate each weapon at a time. You can obviously only shoot what's in arc, so the broadsides can only fire in the side arc. Its prow weapons can fire front, left, and right. Mm -hmm. I'll then be putting its prow weapons battery into this squadron of escorts. I'm splitting my fire because I'm not going to pass these checks realistically anyway, and if I can start softening Sophie's army up, or worse, or even better, if you can get her to brace, that'll be good. Yes. So, I take the firepower of the ship, which is on its side weapons battery, it's four. We consult the gunnery table, which takes into account the facing of the I'll ship. Quickly and... show everyone the gunnery table. It is this lovely little table here. Yep, it's not as bad as it looks. No. Uh, you take the enemy ship class, it's an escort or a cruiser. You determine if it is facing you, moving away, or a beam. And it gives you a total number. Yes. And then you shift left or right based on certain other categories as well, like are you firing through blast markers or is it further than 37 meters away and so on. Yeah. When all is said and done, my firepower 4 is now firepower 1. Yes. Uh, I'll be following up her with a pair of lancers. Sophie, would you like to brace? No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, so I need to roll equal to or higher than your armour, which is 4 for a Cobra Destroyer. So mm -hmm. the weapons battery first. That is a 3, so the weapons battery does nothing. Okay. And then the lances always hit on a four regardless of your armour. Yes. So two lances coming in. 
Okay, well, that was exciting for everyone involved. <laughs> Good, let's move on to our Prow weapons battery, which is firepower six going mm -hmm. into this squadron. They are closing, they are quite far away though. When all's said and done, firepower six becomes firepower two. Yes. Do you want to brace? No. Okay, so I'm again looking for fours. Okay, so we've got a miss, we've got a hit, mm -hmm. which would ordinarily kill you because you only have one hit per ship, but obviously yes. you have shields. Ah. So as I hit you, your shields go down. We represent that with a blast marker, which we place as close as possible or uh, touching you from the ship that shot at you. So this one into this one. The blast marker represents your shields starting to buckle, radiation, secondary explosions, and so on. Yes. The number of shields you have remaining is equal to your shield value, one, mm -hmm. minus one per blast marker you're touching. Yes. So another shot into him will kill that ship. Yes. Speaking of, I'm ah. going to go on to my slaughter here who's going to attempt to live up to his name and slaughter that escort. Very good. So, we have got our broadside weapons battery. It's firepower eight. Mm -hmm. I'm on all head full orders, so it's halved, so it's down to firepower four. I am still in your front arc, so I am closing with you, mm -hmm. which is going to therefore be two shots. Two shots. Uh, here's other weapons. Obviously, this broadside here can't see anything. I could maybe yeah. see him, but there's an asteroid field in the way. Yes. Um, I am, however, going to put his two sh two lances, which becomes one. So one lance into those escorts as well. Okay. And his prowl weapons battery, I will also put into this squadron. And ah, what I will need to do is pass each of check because these guys are closer. Yes. So if I want to shoot anyone other than the closest target, uh, I do pass. Doing well so far. Mm -hmm. So firepower six becomes firepower three, which is going to be a further two shots. So it'll be four weapons and a lance. Okay, this time I am going to brace. Okay, brace for impact. Brace for impact. So make a leisure check for that squadron. Okay, they are... Not, not passing on a ten. So they fail the order. Mm -hmm. You can attempt the order each time a new ship shoots at you. Okay. So if they are still there, yes. you can try again the other one. Now you're putting everything into this one ship, am I correct in thinking? So you're... Uh, let's have a look at the cars. I've got two ships in arc. Okay. But I am... Going to because this ship here, I am moving a beam because yes. I'm actually in its side arc. If I wanted to have the shots carry over, I'd have a drastically reduced dice pool. Yeah. Because I can only, if I want to shoot, uh, be able to target that unit, I would treat them all the shots as them being a beam. Yes. So I don't want to do that. I want to just try and kill that one. That escort. Um, oh, hang on. Actually, we are firing through a blast marker. It's all about shifting one column to the right anyway. So it's actually going to be two shots. Okay. Uh, yes, it would be two shots. It would be one if I wanted to shoot at both both units. So yeah. We'll go with two. Looking for fours. That is two. So the first one will kill that escort. Yes. And replace it with a blast marker. Very good. And the second one? The second one will then take out that one of shields. No, it won't, because I only targeted that yes. one. Yes. That's, that's how the game works. We did literally just, just discussed that. But there is one kill, and then I'll fire the lance. Uh, the lance is a direct fire weapon, so I don't care about arc, so that mm -hmm. I can now just fire at the same unit. Okay. Um, just looking for a four here, which I get, so it puts a blast marker, touching his base as close to the shooting unit as possible. Just like so. Yes. Okay, we'll move on then to our idolater squadron. Okay. So, so squadrons can all be activated at the same time. They are range 30 with mm -hmm. their uh, front lances. So we've got no no lances in range. They're range 45 for their weapons batteries, however. So I think they can all reach mm -hmm. one of them. So I'm yes. going to fire him separately mm -hmm. at just that one. The other two I will group together. Okay. And then they'll be able to fire at anyone who's there. Yes. Resolving them one at a time. So, firepower two, almost certainly going to be only one shot with that. Uh, yeah, we start on a one. One right column shift for firing through a blast marker. Mm -hmm. It would be another right column shift for range, but they actually ignore the range penalty due to special rule they have. Very nice. So, firepower, two, firepower one for each one. Mm -hmm. Firing the back one first. Can I finish off that shieldless cobra? I cannot. Oh, I should have asked, did you want to brace? Because I'm firing a new unit at you. Um, yeah, I am going to brace. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and brace. So, make us another leisure check. No. It's uh, worse. <laughs> so, two more shots looking for fours. There we go. So, that one will finish off that single Cobra, replacing it with a blast marker, but the other one is safe. 
for now. For now. Uh, we've only got the Hecate left, who is range 45 with its weapons battery and 60 with its dorsal lances. Well, that simplifies my decisions. Yes. So <laughs> we're going to focus everything into that escort and just try and finish it. Well, it kind of breaks. Go for it. Uh, do you pass on an eight? Uh, Cobra. Are squadron. One was leadership six, one was leadership eight. Which one's which? Uh, so this is the leadership eight one. Then you pass. Oh, I brace. Okay. So you'll have a four up save against any damage you yes. suffer. Not against hits on your shields, though. Oh. Because it wouldn't help. No. <laughs> Uh, so, Proud Weapons Battery is Firepower 6. You are definitely closing. So, it's going to be Firepower 3, because you're an escort. You are more than 30 away. Only Firepower 2. Okay. And then followed by a pair of Lancers. Yes. So, looking for fours on the Weapons Batteries. That is two hits. The first one knock out your shield. Mm -hmm. Then you have one save. You're fine. Yes. However, two more Lancers coming in. Mm -hmm. Looking for fours. No oh. hits. It lives. It lives. The cheek. Absolute cheek. So that's the end of my shooting phase. Yes. Um, ordnance phase. I could choose to launch some ordnance at this point. Mm -hmm. uh, the Hecate's heck got actually pretty decent leadership of 10, so I am going to launch some ordnance. It's not going to reach anything this turn, but I am going to launch a wave of four assault boats. You're telling me to. To wave. Oh, I see. The salt boats. I'm going to wave. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Here I am, trying to teach the internet how to play the game. I'm going to place my dread claws there. We put them down here in base contact. <laughs> they move their maximum move, which is 20 centimetres. They all move in every ornate phase, Sophie's and mine. Mm -hmm. So they're going to move to there. Uh, if they can reach Sophie's ships, they can attempt to board them when they're full of angry berserkers, and they'll kick things over and smash things to bits. Very good. And they are a strength 4 wave, so there's only one model, but it'll be 4 attacks if they actually get to attack. Yes. That will then be the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. So in the end phase, we have a couple of things to do, although we're going to skip over most of them. We have damage control for any cruisers that have crits. Mm -hmm. No cruisers take any damage. And then we, or I, remove the D6 blast markers of my choice. Yes. And I have to start with ones that are not touching a ship. So I'm going to remove that one and that one. Uh, if we're within range, we could also teleport onto each other and smash each other's bridges and so on, or mm -hmm. even board each other if we were in base to base contact. Obviously we're not. So, that's the end of my turn. Very good. We'll be back once I've figured out which button <laughs> makes the ships go fast. I think an orc has taken over the bridge. <laughs> All right, we are in turn one for the Imperial Navy. Admiral Sophie at the helm. <laughs> the crew are a bit nervous. She's looking a bit green and keeps looking in charge. Uh, Sophie, what, what have you done? I didn't actually charge. No, you didn't. I, I have... Well, I've moved up. So what we've done is we've moved through the blast markers here. So I am slightly reduced movement, which means, unfortunately, I was slightly out of uh, range for torpedoes initially. But they will move in my in my ordnance phase as yes. well. And if I move into a torpedo, it's identical to you moving a torpedo into me. So you're still probably going to hit me. <laughs> Just not in your turn. That's the plan. So that's your squadron of torpedo dormices. What else yes. happened here? I've moved my Sir Lancelot. Yep. So we're going to try and broadside you here. Mm -hmm. uh, Alex very helpfully uh, noted <laughs> that I should stay out of blast marker range. Oops, that, that's no, in that's play. Right yep. one, because if the blast markers say end up here, and I and they were touching me, um, my shields would go down as well. Yeah, because it's again doesn't matter where the blast marker came from. If you're touching a blast marker, it reduces your shields by one. Yes. We then have this squadron here. We're looking at launching some torpedoes. Yep. Because the way the last squadron disappeared, <laughs> uh, I don't think they're long for this world. And then we've got the lone uh, lone ranger over here. We're just gonna. Probably fire our torpedoes into an escort, and if they fail, then yep. <laughs> go into this, this ship here. Yeah, he is still braced, so he is going to be somewhat reduced effectiveness. Do you know what? If he wasn't braced, he wouldn't be here. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> so, better, better braced than dead. <laughs> yes. uh, speaking of, I'm probably going to be bracing for impact in a moment, aren't I? Open so fire! <laughs> what are you doing? Who's firing at who? We're going to kick off with the big overlad. Yep. Uh, we have worked out his weapons battery of eight. 
will then go down to two, wasn't it? I think it was only two, yeah, yes. because it's firing at a capital ship that's a beam. And I think it was, oh, uh, yeah, it was only two because, again, yeah. it's a beam. Um, let's see what you think. you sure it was two? No. No, that sounds <laughs> rubbish. Double check it. Firepower, so, firepower eight. Firepower eight. Cruiser that is a beam. Capital ship that is a beam. That's really down to three. And then one left shift because of your blue ah, targeting array. It was four. There we go. That, that sounds more reasonable. That sounds more now, reasonable. I am going to brace for impact. Yes. I do have shields, but I also have terrible leadership and I'm surrounded. Yes. So I can try to brace every time a ship shoots at me. Leadership six. Uh, I fail. So okay. can't brace against these. And these are fives? Yes, because I'm armor five. Yes. That's, okay. So that is two. So that will be two. So that will place one blast marker as close to me as possible. Bop. And then fan them out in the direction of your choosing around me. Bop. There we go. And I have two shields. So yes. I now am down to zero shields. So anything Very else good. put into him is going to hurt. We are then going to fire the lances. Yes. The dorsal lances. Always um, hitting on fours. Yes. So here we go. Okay, that is a hit. So it'll be a point of damage. Mm -hmm. Is it a crit? You crit on a, you draw another dice on a six as a critical hit. No. It isn't. That's fine, but it is one point of damage on him. Cruisers start with seven, oh, sorry, with eight hits, so he's down to seven. Talk amongst yourselves while I try and find the seven. There we go. Okay, so he is rather tougher than I imagined. Yes. But we shall endeavor. So I will fire this. Uh, ship here, we are going to put everything it, that can yep. into the side. Alex, would you like to try and brace? I would. Where are your lances going to go? They're on your prow. Um, so I'm just going to have a look. Prow lances, so it is a forward arc. Yes. Um, so they will. If the answer is anything other than the idolaters, it will need, need to be a leadership check. Because yes. they're the closest fire. I think we're going to go into the idolaters. Well, there, there yeah. we go then. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to brace the idolaters, but I will try to brace again with the slaughter. Needing a six. Nope. Nope. <laughs> Very good. So we have our guns are uh, four. Firepower four. Mm -hmm. I am a capital ship that's a beam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's one dice. Okay, and there's one left shift because you're within 15. Okay. And one right shift because I am touching a blast marker oh. with the trees being intervening. Yes. So, only one dice. Only one dice. I need a five. You get it, though. Get Is it. it a crit? No. no. Down to six hits. Down to six hits. And the lances. So, these are three prow lances. Oh, nice. Yes. So, this is... Uh, I'm not going to brace. Okay. No. Okay, so one, so I'll knock out the shields on the front idolater. we just put it there, in between us. Okay. So that's him done. Mm -hmm. Who's going next? We are then going to fire the guns from him into him. Yep. So that is from my cobra, my single cobra. Yeah, it's one shot. Yeah. Uh, not going to brace, you're looking for a five. Four? Five. Five, my, my escorts are oh. tougher than yours. They're oh. also double the cost. Okay. <laughs> Almost. Uh, right, very good. We are then going to put these two mm -hmm. over here into... So this is the squadron, and we are firing into the slaughter again. Yeah. So with a squadron, you can mass your firepower and fire in a single volley. Mm -hmm. uh, he is the only eligible target in their side arc, and their prior weapons are torpedoes. So you need to worry about those for now. Yes. Uh, I am going to try to... How many shots are coming my way before two. I see him racing? Only two. Yes. You're looking for five. So he's still got full speed ahead. That means he can still brace, right? Yes. yes. If you successfully brace, or if you take a brace order, it overrides what your current order is. Okay. But it lasts through your following turn. So next turn, I couldn't give him a different order. Because okay. I've already had the benefit and drawback yes. of all head full. Yeah. Uh, it's only two shots. Nothing else is coming. I'm not going to brace. Okay. I'm just going to hope. Oh, it pays off. Pays off. Very good. I will be fighting with him next turn then. Very good. Um, is that your lot? No, we've still got this squad. Ah, here. yes. And we are going to. We're going to put everything into the idolaters. Okay. Uh, I think when all is said and done. It's going to be three dice, I it's think. It's going to be three dice. Yeah. Um, is it going to be changed if you are going for multiple targets, or will it be just that front idolater? Um, because some of them are going to be a beam. Yes, so he's I think going to be other, a beam. 
Oh, they're all a beam? Yeah. Some of them are more than 15 away. 15 gives you a left shift. So. And the blast marker gives you a right shift. So they are firepower one. Firepower one at an escort that is moving a beam. So what's it start on? Mm -hmm. It starts on one escort moving a beam. It starts on zero. Ah, right. Very good. Uh, and that's factoring in the blast marker then, isn't it? Because it's... Uh, uh, now they can't hit it. In which case... Do you want to shoot something else? <laughs> yeah. We're going to take a leadership check and try and shoot that. Ooh, okay. Uh, you will still be going through the intervening blast marker. Oh. If you're drawing line of sight stem to stem. But you are you closing? Uh, I don't think so. Where's my laser? Where's my There's laser? There's my laser. We'll fire the laser. No. No, you are a beam. No. Ah, in which case we'll go into... Whoops! We'll... We will go into... This... We're not going to fire them. You're not going to... Ah, you don't want a blast marker to scrape your torpedoes. Ah, interesting. Exactly. Very good. So they're not firing. Yes. Thinky army. Thinky game this. Thinky. Uh, in that case, straight into the ordnance phase. Uh, launch the torpedoes! Yes. Uh, so I'm going to launch torpedoes. Okay. And I believe all of your ordnance goes and then all of my ordnance goes. So yes. my dread claws will then get to move when you're done. Yes. Do I get to try and shoot them down with turrets? You do. Okay. It's a passive thing. You ah, do it or good. a reactive thing you do when I try and yes. board you. So we are going first torpedo with this cheeky chappy. Little braced escort that could. Yes. We place the marker somewhere in the front arc. Yes. It's only firepower one. Yeah. Uh, you then move it its maximum move. Mm -hmm. and So place it where it'll end up if it misses everyone. Okay. Because we then resolve it against each, in each intervening target. 30 so. centimetres. It's not going through a blast marker. So first of all, does it do anything to that escort there? So one shot, we're looking for a five. No. no. So it goes past him because it mm -hmm. missed. It then goes into my... Oh, hang on, I've got turrets. Yes. Do I shoot it down with the idolater? It has two turrets. On a four up, it would. It does not. And then the cruiser will be the next target that also mm -hmm. has two turrets. I think actually the idolater only has one. No, it has two. Never mind. So looking for a single four up. Oh, there we go. So this cruiser here shoots down the torpedo. Very good. We will then fire torpedoes from these with three. We're going to do it as one. One single salvo. Mm -hmm. So you place it in front of so one the of the ships. So the torpedoes are actually firepower two. Yes, so it'll be a total firepower of six. Yes, so would that mean one would still... His was firepower one because he's braced. Ah, gotcha. So this is six. Yes. So you place it in front of one of the escorts of your choice. Mm -hmm. You once again then move it in a straight line. So you can probably wrangle hitting him as you miss the cruiser. Yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do. So we are going to wrangle to there. Yeah, so put it where it'll end up. Oh, yes. You did just tell me this. Yeah. I just didn't listen. So from the edge of his base, from the stem. Oh, yeah. So it'll end up here. Yes. If there are any torpedoes left. Yes. So, first of all, it's going to hit that cruiser. So I decide if I want to brace now. Mm -hmm. Total firepower of six. I'm not going to. I want operational guns next turn. Okay. So I've got two turrets. Mm -hmm. So on a four up, I swap down some of it. So I get two four ups. So that reduces the firepower from six to four. And now you make attacks against me. These will ignore my shields. So looking for a five. Okay. So that's two hits on me, mm -hmm. uh, which will reduce the firepower down to two. And then we result are either of them crits. They're both crits. Hooray! Okay. Hooray! <laughs> All right. We have a critical hit table here. So resolve yes. them one at a time. It okay. is 2d6. The first one is a nine. An eight. An eight. Thank you. Yeah. So that is thrust as damaged. Good. Uh, so you are minus 10 centimetres until the ship is repaired. Okay, does it say there's any additional damage? There is one additional damage. Okay, so it's down to five already. Cool. Uh, and thrusters damage, that's a problem. And the second crit? A five. So that is prow armament damaged. Okay. So you may not fire your prow weapon until it is repaired. That, that hurt. Yes. A lot. Yeah. And now you're going to pick up my poor little idolater. Yes. So he is now going to try with his turrets to shoot yes. that torpedo down. Looking for a pair of fours would be lovely. So one. So it reduced the firepower down to one. Okay. Looking for a five. No. So it's down to firepower one, and that will then keep going and fly yeah. off the board next turn. Yeah. Still, that that hurt a lot. Very good. And now you've got the, now you've got the torpedoes from your Dauntless Squadron. Yes. So I am going to fire. We are going to fire... Oh, do I? 
Do I just fire straight through my own ships? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this guy is pretty dead anyway, and he's also still braced. He is also still braced, because that... If I hit that, it's big. It's very big. Yeah. But is it clever? I'm not going to help you here. The blood of the Imperium. No, the blood of martyrs is the seed of the Imperium. We're firing <laughs> through our own ship. Okay. <laughs> so a single salvo? Uh, the squadron is going to fire. So you're, you're going to find there's one single yes. salvo. We're going to fire so combining the strength, salvo. which brings up to, what, 12? 12. Grief. So, so place it, uh, pla touching one ship, then move it. So you just measure the distance from him because he's further away. Oh, yes. So it would end up... Oh, actually, I'm not going... Mind you, you're going to move into them. Yeah, in a second. If, unless I burn retros, I'm going to have a serious problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them to just behind you there. Okay, so straight through your... Yes. Your escort, then straight through my escort. Yes. Interesting. So is your escort going to fire turrets? No. Okay. Good. <laughs> I don't know if you have to, but it's quite cool. So uh, roll 12 dice against your escort. Yes. And this is four up. Bear in mind, yeah. any that do hit it will still damage it. They're still all used up. Ah, oh, okay. Because they just smash into the wreck. You don't want to do this then. So you're going to, on average, lose half the firepower yeah. here. You'll still have firepower six torpedoes carrying on. Yes. Going to give it a go? I'm going to give it a go. Yeah, why not? Alright, 12 dice, every 4 up is wasted in effect. Okay, so the escort dies. He's braced. Yes. Oh, okay, then you have 6 saves, as 6 of them hit him. Oh, he, he is dead, die. so replace him with a blast marker. Oh, they stick to the table and I've got long fingernails. <laughs> then you go into my escort. Mm -hmm. I'd like to then try and shoot down those torpedoes. Yes. So, force. Shoot down two of them. Okay. It's down to firepower four. So four attacks on him, looking at fives. So you kill him twice. Yes. Leaving a firepower two salvo carrying on toward my cruiser. Okay. So all told, that's all destruction. Let's remove him. Was it worth it? Um, we will see next <laughs> turn. I think I, I, I've got my hopes up because I got two crits. Yeah. So I'm like, oh, torpedoes are amazing. And then... Oh, you know what? I killed one of your escorts. You technically killed two escorts, just uh, one of them is yours. <laughs> We're even on kills. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Um, all right, I be uh, then my escorts, my escorts, then my ordnance gets to have yes. a go. Which of these cruisers is the leader? Who's got the higher leadership? Um, it is number two. Number two. Double sky. So my dreadclaws are going to fly into him, mm -hmm. smash into the hull, and disgorge berserkers. But first, you get your turrets. Yes. How many turrets does a Dauntless have? So, because they're squadron, does the squadron get to fire turrets? I don't know. Okay. Do you want me to look it up? Yeah. Okay, we'll be back in a second. We looked it up, and there is a rule for massing turrets, where if you're in base contact with a friendly ship, you can add one to your turrets to a maximum of three. Dauntless light cruisers have one turret each, so it's going to be two turrets in total. For every four up, you'll knock out a Dreadclaw. Yes. Don't get cocky, kid! You knock out a drag claw. Yeah, that'll do. That's uh, not bad. So it's going to be three boarding, or not boarding actions, three um, drag claws smashing into that cruiser. The way this works is it's a single D6 on the crit table for each, mm -hmm. adding one to the result because yes. they are Chaos Space Marines. So we roll one at a time. We have got a five, which is going to be your prow armament is damaged. No oh, more that's torpedoes for you. We've got a two, which is dorsal armament damage. You don't have any, so. I don't know what that does. I think you re-roll if it's not viable. I believe so, yeah, because there's some things where it's specifically you ignore it. This is a re-roll. So that is a four, which is your port armament damaged. Okay. Do you know your port and starboard? Lefty. And a five, which is prow armament damaged a second time. So you have to fix it twice to fix it. Okay. Uh, no torpedoes for you. No. Uh, no actual damage, but it's fine. It's a couple of crits. Yes. And then the token is removed. So then we go into the end phase, starting mm -hmm. with damage control. Both players get to do it. Okay. So the way it works is you roll a number of dice equal to the number of hits the ship has remaining. For every six, you fix a crit. Ooh. Okay, so my... I'm the active player, so I... You go first. Go. Yep. So I'm going to roll six dice for the... Yep. Um, one with three crits. 
So you can fix one of them. I'm going to fix the port weapons. Okay, so they're up and running again. Yes, so we've got double prowl. They basically, you've lodged a space green in each of yes. the, the torpedo tubes. <laughs> you can't load it, because there's a very angry man in there with an axe. Don't open it! <laughs> <laughs> but the Admiral says more torpedoes. No, no, no seriously, do not. The Admiral can go in there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll deal with him later. Yes. Right, uh, my cruiser is also going to try and fix the damage it suffered, which was thrusters and... What else did you break? Uh, prow weapons. Thrusters and prow weapons. Yes. I've got five hits remaining, so five dice. Uh, I will fix one of them. I'm going to fix the... I'm going to fix the prow weapons. Mm. I'm going to keep the thrusters being broken, which is reduced movement of, by 10. Actually, it's going to be down to movement 15. 10 because we're going to a blast marker. That's a terrible idea. Oh, well. Let's see what happens. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. I'm going to fix my weapons. Okay, then you've removed D6 blast markers. Five. Starting with ones that are not touching ships. One, two, three... Four, five. Yep. Then we go into teleport strikes and boarding actions. So a teleport strike, a capital ship can try a teleport strike on one enemy ship within ten that has no shields. Like, for example, my cruiser there. We're going to send across Lancelot. Yep. So it's very simply, it's just a d6 roll on the critical hits table. A four. That is port arm damage. Uh, port is which one? Left or right? Left. Left. So you've broken his left weapons. Oh, that's the worst one. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then there would be boarding actions if we were in base-to-base -base contact, but we're not. Mm -hmm. So that is the end of the turn. We're back in the for Chaos turn two. Turn two with the Chaos War Fleet, and we yes. have moved as such now. Alex, torpedoes. Yes, your torpedoes flew at me, and I shot them down. Yes. Um, two shots, two turrets, and then removed them. Got lucky. Um, I think I needed that, and that means I've now got a full, fully operational fleet. No one's crippled. No one's braced. Everyone's at close range. Mm -hmm. I only gave one order, which was to the Hecate Heavy Cruiser to reload ordnance and get some more people in drop pods ready to go. Yes. Uh, or bombers, actually, is probably more likely mm. at this stage. We'll see what happens there. So he has moved forward and just turned so he can put his broadside into one of those Dauntlesses. Uh, this cruiser here, now with broken engines and flying through a blast marker, his movement was dropped down so much I had to land on the blast marker. Yes which could be a problem because we'll only be removing D6 with them and have to start with ones that aren't touching ships. Mm. So I might start next turn still on a blast marker, but we'll yeah, see what happens. We'll see. My idolaters, meanwhile, have closed in on those Cobras and are going to attempt to remove them. I'm not that scared of them now. They fired yeah. their torpedoes and leadership six, but they're also still, they're a piece. If I can remove them, that'd yes. be good. My slaughter, meanwhile, is starting to come round behind Sir Lancelot and is close range, fully operational, and has tra trained lots of guns on his bum. Yes. So shooting. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kick things off with the idolaters into the cobras. When all said and done, oh, sorry. Yeah, are you bracing? Yes. No. No, your leadership six. That's not a brace. So when all said and done, down to firepower one with their weapons batteries. So mm -hmm. we are looking for force. So that is one success and knock out a shield on the closest one to the squadron. And then we have a lance each, um, looking for... Oh, I actually have to do this one at a time because he has not got him in his front arc. Very good. So this one here, first, into him. There we go, that's a kill, replaced yes. with a blast marker. And the second one uh, is a miss. Okay, good. Well, that's them done. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to go on to the slaughter. Yes. who's going to attempt to slaughter Sir Lancelot. Yes. So I've got a prow weapons battery, I've got a broadside weapons battery. When I add it all together and the fact that I'm at close range shooting you in the bum, we're on 10 yes. dice for our weapons battery. Would you like to brace? I've thought about this. And you know what, You only it's only a five up, isn't it? It's only a five up. With two lances. Yeah. And I've got six. Um, six hard points in the shield. It's all got six hard points in... Is it one shield or two shields? One shield, I don't miss. Now with one shield, then yes, I am going to brace. Okay. No. So not on 11. So weapons battery then, we are looking for fives. Yes. That is one, two, only three. Okay. So the first one knocks out your shields. Yes. The second two will do damage. Okay. Are either of them crits? 
They are not. So just two points of damage. Okay. So we So we place one as close to me as possible. Yeah. And then fan the other one out order actually in front of you. Good. Oh, oh, oh sorry. Ah. Oh no, it's actually we only place one because hits on you don't do any don't oh, create blast course. markers. Yeah. It's only when your shields get blown out yeah. they get replaced. That's what I remember why these light cruisers were a bit a bit of a risk. Yeah, they're, they're just sort of like, oh, one shield. It's not great. Mm. Two lances. Two lances looking for fours. That is two hits. Are they crits? Are they crits? One is a crit. Yes. Which crit is it? That is a six, which is engine room damage and plus one damage. It's it down is. to one hit. One, yes. Yeah. And engine room damage, so its movement is drastically reduced now. That thing is close to death. She can get the brace off. Yeah. Okay, that makes things interesting now because mm. I would like to score a kill. I'm going to go on to the Inferno, this chap here. Yes. And I'm going to attempt to pass leadership check to not have to shoot those little cobras. Mm -hmm. We are leadership seven. We're touching a blast marker, so minus one to our roll because it's chaos yes. all over the place. And also with playing chaos, we don't have to put my shots into the closest eligible targets. Yes. This is why escorts can be useful. Yeah. Well, it simplifies things. Uh, in fact, all my weapons are going to have to go into them because my prow weapons can fire uh, front, left, and right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, let's. There should be plenty of dice at least. We've got. I want to try and brace for this. Yep. Go ahead. No. Nope. Okay. Uh, am I within fifteen? I reckon so. Yes. My laser eyeball is a bit off with sentences. <laughs> Uh, firepower 6 and Firepower 4, you are escorts, are you closing or are you a beam? Uh, I'm closing, oh no, I am a beam actually. Give it, give us, give us a beam, there we go, beam. Lasers in space. Uh, no, I'm closing. Closing? Closing. Cool. Very good, right, Firepower 6, escorts, uh, Firepower 3, Firepower 4, Firepower 2, one left shifting, we have 15, keep them occupied with the sound effects, Sophie. <laughs> it's great, it's like the lay And if I can get the right distance. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's seven weapons batteries and then a pair of lances. Very good. And you did not race. I did not. Well, not successfully. So fives. Uh, only two. So that'll be a knock eight shields and then kill you. And yes. then two blast markers where they were, please. And yes, not those two. I'm, it's so tempting to pick up the isn't nearest it? ones. <laughs> isn't it? Go, yeah, they're you're trying to tidy up the board as you go. Yeah. And, then, uh, and a pair of lances looking for fours. No! Oh. No damage. Uh, oh, yeah, because the corn the symbols are one. They are, because yeah. Games Workshop hates me. Yeah. That's frustrating. Um, that just leaves my Hecate. Mm. I really want him dead. Yes. So, my. You're not in arc for my um, port broadside. No. Uh, I was able to get him in my starboard broadside. Mm -hmm. So. There's a cat. My cat is rearranging my desk. Yes, you. I'm talking about you. Come on, out. 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 Thank you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Where were we? <laughs> uh, so, uh, right hand broadside is going to go into him. Mm -hmm. and it's only, only going to go into this chap here, because I okay. can't get him in arc. My starboard? Which one's which? My starboard is this one, port is that one. Ooh. Okay. Port broadside is going to attempt to go into... Can I pass the issue check to shoot what I want? Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, Port broadside? Yes. Port broadside and prow weapons into him. Okay. And then starboard broadside into him. He's gonna brace! Okay! He's gonna brace! What's his leadership? Six. He's touching a glass marker. Oh. <laughs> so he's not braced. No. Do you want to do the lances on him first? Uh, oh, he has got lances, hasn't he? Yeah. Um, yes, let's do this first. Yeah. Uh, yes, that's Engine cool. kill! Engine kill! Starship kill! Yes. <laughs> uh, it is. We now are on the catastrophic damage table. Yay. So 2d6. A seven, which is a blazing hulk. So we place one blast marker where it, where it is, mm -hmm. or touching it, mm -hmm. and then in every one of its movement phases, it moves forward 46 centimeters, okay. placing a blast marker where it was before it moved, and we roll on the same table at the end of every turn, or after that move. Okay. So it could blow up. Very good. But it could blow up here. Yes. Which would be bad. Be good. It would be bad. But he is dead. At <laughs> he least. is dead. 
And uh, the most of the other weapons are going into him. Then we've got just got the broadsides into your dauntless. Do you want yeah. to brace? This one, um, I'm not going to brace actually because I need him to reload torpedoes yeah. and fire into him. And if he did brace, he'd brace with the squadron. Yes. It's the downside potentially. Mm. So the Hecate has fire, only firepower four anyway mm -hmm. for its uh, side weapons. I'm closing within 15. Yes, so that's going to help actually. Um, it's, it's four. It's the full four. Okay. Looking at fives. Looking for fives. Uh, two. So we're going to knock out your shields and we're going to place it, yes. touching your other guy. Yeah. And then fan one out. Oh, we don't fan one out because that knocks yeah. out your shields. And then one hit on him. Yep. Is it a crit? No. no. So he just goes down to five. Yes. Okay. I'm then going to launch a wave of bombers. Yes. And they're only going to be bombers. Um, got a Thunderhawk mark here, but it won't matter because they will go away as they yeah. fly out from here. Round to there, around the blast marker. Turrets! Two of them Take out two. So it's going to be two attacks. Mm -hmm. uh, so these are d6 minus the turret value of the ship I'm attacking. Okay. Attack runs each. To a minimum of zero. So zero and three. Three attack runs mm -hmm. against your armor, looking for fives. Very good. You could brace against this. Uh, no, I'm not before. going to. No? Oh, again, you want to reload. Yeah. So looking for uh, fives. <laughs> nope. <laughs> two ones and two. Very good. Um, that's them then. Um, teleport strikes. Yes. So we are going to go with a teleport strike from this fella into him. Mm -hmm. So a single roll on the critical hits table. That is a two, which is starboard armor damage. Him. Into he's a he's a Hulk. There's no need. <laughs> sir, sir, there's Are you nothing. sure? It there's, is on fire, sir. There's nothing here, sir. So he's dead. <laughs> Please stop. We are going to teleport strike the guy who's wounded over there. Very good. Adding one because Chaos Space Marines. Three becomes a four. Your port armament is damaged. Very good. That's my left yes. armament. And oh, actually, this happens after repair rolls. Okay. So I, I got over eager there. So remember that roll, it will knock yeah. out port armament after your rolls. So you can't fix that one. Okay. So what I'm going Who's to do. Who's got crits? I'm going to do the crit with the double prow guy. The prow weapons are fixed. Okay. With both of those. Okay. But, but his port weapons are still yes. jammed up. Um, he is going to try and fix his thrusters. Mm -hmm. Which he does. Yes. Thrusters so are back online. And I don't believe. Oh, his, we his uh, starboard weapons are broken. Uh, port. Port weapons. I will learn it eventually. It's a Reaver Titan, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're still broken. Okay. They went to, the thing is, they went to go and fix the starboard weapons instead, and they're yes. fine. They got there and said, Sir, the, the starboard weapons are fine. <laughs> <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> First you send us to a place that's on fire, and then we get back <laughs> you send us to the wrong place. Sir, would you like this map? Management is terrible on this <laughs> ship. <laughs> well, here's the ship six, it makes sense. Yes. Um, blast markers. Yes. I'm not going to be able to get off that blast marker. No. D6 are removed. We're doing this in entirely the wrong order. It's meant yeah. to be damage control, then blast markers, and then uh, teleport strikes. But we're removing four. So we're going to go with one, two, Three, four. Come on, come here. And that will be the turn. Um, that went okay. We got a kill. Yes. We'll be back in a moment for Imperium turn two then. Da -da. Imperium turn two. Sophie, you've done your movement phase. Uh, what's happened? I have. So, we have got a couple of orders off. Yep. So we have reloaded ordnance with the two, with with both my orders that went off. We then drifted the Hulk over here. It has gone out, so it, there was no explosions there. Yep. It's no longer a blazing Hulk. It's now a drifting Hulk. So yes. it'll keep placing blast markers as it moves inexorably in this direction. But it's no longer going to explode, which That's is funny. a relief for me and probably not for Sophie. Yeah, I'll boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your little escort that could has reloaded, you said, yes. as has your Dauntless Torpedo Squadron. Mm -hmm. And what has the Overlad done? The Overlad is moved up, is ready to fire his torpedoes as he sees fit. Maybe we'll take out the escorts, who knows? Yep. 
Uh, you're also, I think, eyeing up my almost but not quite crippled slaughter over here. Yes. Speaking of, where are you kicking off the shooting? We're going to kick off for the Overland. Yep. And we're going to put everything into the back of that slaughter. So, weapons broadside, followed by a pair of lances. I am going to try and brace. Yes. Uh, you've got someone on special order, so I've got plus one to my leadership check. Why yes. don't I have the dice over here? There are my dice. Yes. So I left them over there, that's why. So, leadership six, so leadership seven. Uh, I pass, so Very I am good. braced for impact. So I am going to, uh, these need fives. Yes. Okay. So one will knock out a oh, you'll knock out both shields. Yes. And then we are going to put a couple of lances into you. Okay. Looking for fours. Yeah. No, no nothing. nothing. Okay. Maybe I don't need to brace. We are then going to put these two and we're going to put all my firepower over here into this one ship. Yeah, so firepower four, but yeah. long range through blast markers. It's firepower one each. Yeah. Oh, okay, two hits. Yeah. Looking for fours to shrug it off. No, it adds up to a four, it doesn't help. Are either of them crits? Okay, you right, one is a crit. So I'm crippled. No, I'm not. He's down to five even. And what is the crit? Uh, no, that's two hits. So He's down to four. four. I am crippled, sorry. And the critical hit. We have the table on the right side and a three. Uh, starboard armament damage. That is your right hand weapon. Thank you. <laughs> so I now have no working weapons other than my prowl. Yes. Good. Then we are going to the little <laughs> escort that could. Yep. And we are going to try and fire our weapons. Are you on zero? Uh, given the distance and I the blast markers don't and think its firepower so one. You are. Capital ship moving a beam. Yes. Capital ship moving a beam. And then right shift for the blast oh, marker. Oh, yeah, I will be. Yeah, okay. Do you want to fire anything? Do you no. want to fire the Hecate? No, because what we're going to do is torpedo time. Okay. We will. Okay, so the way we've worked this out is we commit. Yes, you place your torpedo markers at the end of the shooting yes. phase and then resolve them in the ordnance phase that are in an order of your choosing. Yes. But you can't fire some torpedoes and then fire some afterward if the first volley was less effective as well. Okay, so first of all, can, we, can you place them off the edge of the table? Uh, it will fly off the table, yeah. so that one is definitely gone, but it's yeah. a firepower two shot coming at him. Yes. Okay. And their torpedoes? Their torpedoes, they'll be firing them together. Yep. And we will... Oh, I don't know if we can... Ah, oh, we can thread the needle. You can thread the needle and hit all three. Yes. So we are going to Can do you do that. so without touching the blast marker? I think uh, you can, actually, yeah. can't you? And they will go there, and they will be 12. <laughs> Um, and then we are also going to do the same. So this cheeky chappy is going to fire his torpedoes, because I may as well. This is firepower eight. I spent a lot of time painting these, whilst painting these torpedo markers. Yes. We're going to, we're going to down while you use them. <laughs> okay, so I am going to thread the needle. It will touch the blast marker. So if it, but it'll be resolved against one thing at a time. Yes. Is it going to touch this one? No. Okay. It is going to touch it. The one underneath. Um, but before or after it hits him? Before, uh, after it hits him. Okay, so if there are any torpedoes left, they might yeah. be destroyed by the blast marker. Yes. But I think actually, actually... We're going to get to there. Very good. And that is firepower eight. Okay. So, Alex, where would you like to resolve... Should we, should we go with the, the appetizer, the hors d'oeuvre? Yes. The, the uh, hors d'oeuvres fired by a torpedo. Yes, he's on full health, so I'm yeah. not going to brace for two torpedoes. That's so, fine. turrets, do mm -hmm. I manage to swat it out of the sky? This is a heavy cruiser, so it's actually three turrets rather than two. Oh, very good. Uh, I don't know why I keep using this corn dice. <laughs> uh, so, do you do any damage on fives? No. No, no, well, very good. Then they fly off the table. Yes. Into the void. Into the void. Uh, where do you want to go next? We will then start off, oh, we'll go with the 12s. 12s. Yes. Okay. Right. So this is this one here. Mm -hmm. It's going to fly into him first. Yes. I'm going to try and brace with him. Okay. So I'm touching a blast marker. You're on special orders. It cancels out. Yes. He is the Inferno, which is leadership seven. Okay. That is a seven. We pass. So we are braced. So firepower 12. I've got two turrets. Mm -hmm. It is firepower 11. Okay, so we are looking for fives. Yes. Uh, I need some more dice. This is good. <laughs> for Sophie, uh, nine. 11. Okay. Cool. So, 11, five ups. Yes. 
That should be fine, right? I got to three. You got three. Okay. I then have. We'll go down to eight. Yes. Yeah. I then have three bracer impact saves. Okay, I shrug off two of them. So this one is it a crit. No. It's not a crit, but I am now crippled because I'm down to four hits. And that is fine. That is fine. Uh, I need another order dice for him. There we go. He has braced for impact. So, who do they hit next? Then they're going to hit him. Okay, I think bracing is a good idea here. Yeah. We're not touching any blast markers. We're, you're on special orders, so mm -hmm. plus one. So, you shoot eight. We get it. So, they are braced for impact as well. Next turn is not going to be very effective. Well, hopefully, you have some ships left. So. This is firepower eight, and it's going to hit who first? Uh, this one. Okay. So I get my turrets. Yes. And they get two turrets each, don't they? Two turrets each. They're not touching each other, so I can't uh, mess okay. them. Okay. I do knock out two. Okay. So we are down to six. No, that's that torpedo. Oh, that's that torpedo. Oh, it really matters at this point. So it's down oh, to. Oh. It is. That's that's that torpedo fired from there. Yes. Yeah. So that is down to six. That's down to six. Okay. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's down to six. Okay. Whose torpedoes are we resolving at the moment? These ones. Oh, okay. I thought you already did the firepower 12 ones. But they're carrying on. Oh. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. So we've taken up two. So fives for your ships. Yes. Nothing. Okay, so the salvo moves on. Then hits him. So his turrets. Yes. Knock out two more. Yes. So your, it's, your escorts get more turrets than my cruisers. Yes. Which is annoying. Um, <laughs> So then, that does one, but you've braced. One hit is on the second idolater. Yeah. And we don't shrug it, so that will kill that idolater. Yes. Replacing him with a blast marker. Yes. He's still braced. Okay. okay. <laughs> and then they're gone. And then they're gone. Then there's the salvo from the Overlord. Mm hmm. So, now, so is it now going to fly for a blast marker before it hits anybody? I think it will. So you roll a dice, on a six, the whole salvo is destroyed. No. no. Okay. Then they fly into the idolater first. Yes. Who has his turrets. We knock out one. Okay, so we are on seven. Yes. Okay. Two. Two. Okay, he could live. He does live. Okay. So two of them hit but don't do any damage. Yes. So then five going into the cruiser, the cruiser's turrets. Uh, two, it's not a heavy cruiser. One is knocked out. So down to firepower four. And one more. One more. Uh, I am braced. I shrug it. Okay. Well, that so was all said and done, but you have got my entire fleet braced. Yes. Bar one ship. And two of them are crippled. Yes. Uh, which is a serious problem for yes. me. Crippling halves your firepower, mm -hmm. drops your movement by five, halves your turrets, rounding up, but still. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it might even half your shields as well. It's horrible. Okay. So being crippled. Well, check halving the shields, because that would mean I could lightning strike you. Rounding up. You always round up for shields. Yeah. Um, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Yes, let's double check. I'll be back in a second. So we have checked. And being crippled does half your shields, so mm -hmm. this fellow here, who's still on this blast marker, <laughs> his shields are now down. So when we get to lightning striking, that's going to be a big problem. But first, damage control. Mm -hmm. Who have you got who needs to control the damage? Uh, no one. Oh, your weapons are working, aren't they? Yes. That's, that's, that's upsetting. Uh, I have got my slaughter over here, sitting on four hits. He's going to try and repair his port or starboard weapons. Yes. Uh, he repairs one of them. I'm going to repair the right-hand ones. The starboard. Thank you. Um, um, have I got any other crits? He's actually fine, other than the fact he's on half health. Uh -huh. And he is also fine. Yes. So, blast markers next. Remove d6 then. Just the one. one. Oh, that's not what I need you to roll. I'm going to roll this one. Yes, why not? Okay. Now, the lightning strikes. <laughs> Who do you want to lightning strike with first? We will go with the front. Okay, so it's just a d6 roll in the critical hits table. Six. Six. So this is engine room damage. I just fixed that. No. It's also plus one damage. It is indeed, so I'll mark that down for you. To my knowledge, that cannot do an additional crit at least, but okay. still, that's a problem. And then second one, onto the table, a one. Which is a nothing. Which is a nothing. Okay. 
I will take that. I would. Yes. Um, I can't manage to strike you because your shields are up. Mm -hmm. Although, interestingly, I could try it if your shields were down for some reason. Oh. Uh, so, that's it. Chaos turn three. That was That's a bloody nose. Chaos Fleet, turn two. Alex, take us through I your think orders. We're turn three or turn something. Turn three! <laughs> it's a weird game. I'm having fun though. Uh, yes, orders. I only have one ship that could take orders, and that was the Hecate. Yes. So I have ordered it to reload ordnance successfully. It's ready to try it again with the bombers. Uh, it has moved around behind the Dauntlesses, and it's going to try. It's my only real functioning ship that's going to try and do some damage. These two both crippled and braced, which is halving and halving again mm -hmm. for their firepower. So it's not going to be a lot. Um, this one also touched a blast marker with broken engines and being crippled. It had a total movement of like 10 centimetres, I think. Yeah. So it's limped forward and didn't even have the movement to turn. Because I believe it has to move <laughs> at least uh, 10 centimetres before it can turn. So all it's managed to do is just limp forward yes. and try to do some damage. <laughs> Uh, this one is wheeling around, and my little idolater is braced, but it will maybe be able to do some damage. I'm yeah. not confident. However, the Hecate has got buckets of dice. Yes. Uh, its weapons batteries are going to go into just this Dauntless, because that one is moving away, whereas mm -hmm. this one is actually a beam from I mean, where I am. So it's going to be seven dice, Sophie. Do you want to brace with I the whole squadron? I will be bracing. I can't quite bring the missiles to bear. I won't be bracing. Not with a roll like that. What's that leadership? Uh, nine. Nine. Uh, plus one. There's enemy not special Ooh. orders. Oh, very good. Let me let me just double check that nine because I don't want to. I don't want to be doing you a dirty. Yes, leadership nine. Okay, so nice. they pass. So they are braced for impact. Brace, brace, brace. So weapons. We are looking for fives. That is one, two, three. Mm -hmm. So the first one is going to knock out his shields. Yes. Now, unfortunately, I have to put it there. I can't fan out and hit the other guy. And the other two. two. Yep, yeah, two four ups. We're good. Thank you both. All right. And then the Hecate's Lancers into the same guy looking for fours. Yeah. Double one. Gets hot. Hot yep. points. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, fine. But you have forced a brace order on me. I have. And yes. I've broken your shields. Yes. So let's just see if we can get some chip damage through now. Uh, we're going to go with the Idolater. It's going to fire at that chap there. Yep. Single shot, which hits. Very good. Uh, do you successfully brace? Brace, brace, brace. No, no, no. Is it a crit? No. But it's <laughs> a point of damage on the other Dauntless. Very good. The Inferno. I'm trying to find a five, that's what I'm doing. Inferno takes away Alex. Okay, so prior weapons, firepower six. That sounds quite high, I hear yes. you say, but actually it's firepower three, but actually it's firepower two, yeah. because everything is going terribly. Uh, you're a capital ship, you are closing mm -hmm. uh, with one shot, one left shift, because. Um, Within 15 centimeters. Thank you. But also, you're touching a blast marker, so one right shift is one shot. Okay. Looking for a five. Very good. And the slaughter. Um, Do you have any lances with them? Uh, yeah, on the sides. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. yes. Never mind. All right. <laughs> uh, I guess they could try and shoot him. Yeah. 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 He's the closest eligible target. It's going to be one weapons yeah. battery. Is that actually? I'm not Are bracing. Double. You know? No. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Firepower four, which is actually firepower one. Yes. On a capital ship that's closing, which is. It's lance, it's, isn't it? Uh, it's got a lance and a yeah. weapons battery. Oh, okay. So one weapons battery followed by a lance. Okay. Hitting on a five for the weapon. Nope. Lance hitting on a four. Yes. There we go. We'll pop a blast marker down for very good. Posterity. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Uh, the you, have, you have shortened his movement a little bit. I have. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the slaughter is going to try to kill. I say kill. It's going to shoot that one. Yes. Uh, it's probably going to be very few dice. We are actually, are we even within range? Range 30. I think you'd be in range. I think so, I but think we'll double so. check. I think it's like a... a I wouldn't want to do you a dirty. <laughs> there we go, we are within range. Yes. So, firepower. Eight for its broadside and six for its front gun, but obviously it's going to be a two and a one. Yes. Capital ship moving away or a beam. It's going to be a one and a one. Okay. 
So two weapons batteries and then a solitary lance. You are still braced. Mm -hmm. So weapons first. A hit. Very good. I will brace. No. Oh, no. Is it a crit? Yes. yes. That's exciting, isn't it? Get the thing. Stop it. It's a six, which is engine room damaged, and okay. it's also plus one damage. So down to three we go. And he's crippled. And he is crippled. And then the lance. Oh, the six winked at me. It's a miss. But you have crippled a ship. I have crippled a ship. Crippledy shippledy. Yes. <laughs> As they say in space. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bomb you now. Okay. Um, I think bombing is the best idea. I think it's better than uh, direct claws. So yes, uh, wave of bombers. Mm -hmm. Four of them from the Hecate. Hello. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> uh, I don't place the marker because they'll be removed automatically. They will fly around into your side. So yes. you have... One's crippled, but there's still two turrets because you're touching each other. Could you stop doing that, please? Pew, pew. D6, uh, minus one each. Well, that's better, so that is a five and a one, so six attacks. You're still braced, of course. Mm -hmm. Looking for fives. That is only one. It goes through. Is it a crit? No. no. Down to two hits. Very good, I'll pop you down to two. Um, end phase. Yes. Damage control first. I've got, I believe, some broken weapons over here. Yes. And some broken engines over here. Yes. So I'm going to go with him first. He's on four hits. Mm -hmm. uh, I fix the the left hand yes. weapon. Port. Yes, thank you. And over here, three dice for your engines. Yes. Yes, our engines work. I'm going to try and fix my engines. No. No. Engines don't work. And you haven't got any other crits in play, have you? No. Uh, Roof and Blast Markers, we get rid of D6. Four. Four. We're going to go with... What's the most inconvenient for you? Uh, oh, your torpedoes there. Oh, yeah, wait, the torpedoes anymore, are, are going to bugger off. Yeah. Uh, that's a really nice point, isn't it? We're going to go... That's actually quite a nice screen for now. One. I want that to stay there. Two. Three. Four. Uh, teleport strikes. Mm -hmm. I can't do it if I'm crippled, which I am with anyone who would be doing it. No, 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 him. Ooh, yes. Thank you, Sophie. I'm glad you're paying attention. Yay. He's going to do a teleport strike. Teleport. Uh, on the guy with no shields, obviously. Yes. Plus one, because I am Chaos Space Marines. Your dorsal armament is broke. Which isn't a thing. Yes. Has he not got dorsal armament? Dorsal is... Oh, oh. yeah, oh, yeah. So... God, it, it, we re-roll it, that was it. Yeah. Uh, three, starboard armor damaged. That's my right hand side. Yes. Okay, that's a shame because I could have tried to pop him. Yep. Um, and then boarding actions, no one's touching each other. Yes. So that is the turn. Yes. We'll be back in Imperium, turn three. Yes. Turn three. Yes. Uh, Sophie, what have you done? I have reloaded some ordnance. Yeah. And not reloaded ordnance. Yeah. He tried. Yeah, he did. But he couldn't quite do it. You see, he's been he's done very well. Yes. To still cling on. Meanwhile, Sophie, what are your daughters doing? We're going to try and board you, because you've been very naughty and lived. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so boarding actions, they are resolved in the end phase. Yes. We'll get so we... to that. But it does mean you can't shoot. Right. Or fire any ordnance. That's right. But you move into base-to-base -base contact with me, and those two Dauntlesses will be trying to board yes. and kill that cruiser. Yes. I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, because it can backfire spectacularly. Can. But first, a bit of an appetizer, you have mm -hmm. a fully armed and operational battle cruiser. <laughs> <laughs> so it doing? it is going to put everything into your slaughter. Yes. Now I can't quite... Um, it's... it's it's a bit far, it's a bit through blast markers, so my yeah. firepower 8 goes down to firepower 2. Yeah, I'm not bracing for this. Not bracing. Okay, you knock out my shields. And I do a damage. Yes, I've only got one yes. shield. Um, I forgot about that. <laughs> so we're down to 3. Is, Is it a crit? It? No. Okay, maybe I should have braced. And, and your lances. lances. Uh, Is it a crit? No. No, we're down to two hits, though. Yes. 
And your Cobra is your only other shooting unit. Cobra, I'm going to do a leadership check and I'm going to try and shoot him. Yeah, actually. I would. So, leadership check. We do pass. Yes. So, I'm guessing it's one dice. It's going to be one dice. Gonna You're going for dice. a blast marker. It's not a hit. No. Not a hit. So, Never that mind. is your shooting done. So, end of the shooting phase. Yes. I'm going to place some torpedoes. Oh, okay. Where yes. are you placing your torpedoes? We are going to place them. And we are going to... No, I'll tell you what, we're going to go through the isolator. Okay. Because it would be nice to just knock him out and we will end just the other side. Carefully not hitting the poor innocent cobra. Yes, I've, I've already <laughs> killed one of my own chips and torpedoes. So we're starting at firepower six. six. We got it wrong earlier with over eight. I don't know what, what, what difference it would have made. No. Nope. But it's firepower six into the idolator first. Yes. You get your two turrets. Yes, I am going to brace as well because actually oh, bracing is okay. not that big a deal for him. His firepower no. is pretty low anyway. Yeah. Uh, so, do we successfully brace? Yes. Mm -hmm. Turrets. I knock out none. You don't hit me with any. No. Which is kind of what you want, I guess, really. Sort yeah. Of. So, a major brace. Okay, you major did. Major look. Uh, into the Hecate. Yes. The Hecate's done damage. Yes. I don't think you're going to do that much damage, he said mm. confidently. So I am not going to brace. I want my guns working. So okay. I'm going to put down a dice somewhere on the other hand. Uh, oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to fire my turrets. Yes. <laughs> uh, three dice, because it's a heavy cruiser. We knock out two. So down to fire power four. So you hit me twice. Are either crits? No. Okay, we are on six hits remaining. We should have D8 uh, somewhere. Some, uh, there we go. So down to six hits. Yes. That was probably about what I expected and deserved. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll take yeah. two points with, with torpedo sal. It's like, not bad, is it? No, no, it's not bad at all. Very good. Um, um, I believe that is the end of the order's phase. Yeah. So, the end phase. There is an order to these things. Yes. We start with damage control. Mm -hmm. You're the active player. Have you got any crits in play? Uh, yes, he's got some crits. He's got two dice. He's still got some crits. Yes. Anyone else got crits? Nope. Okay, have I got any? I can't remember. Uh, You're better keeping track of this than me, apparently. No. I think I fixed everything, you actually. I fixed everything. Yeah, uh, I fixed my engines last turn, but yes. after I limped forward. Okay. Blast markers, remove d6 of them. Okay. Uh, one, two, three. Four. Well, actually, no, I'm going to keep that one. Okay. Four. Five. Very good. Mm. I believe it is teleport strikes next. Yes. And I can't find anything in the book saying you can't teleport strike if you are boarding. You can't if you're crippled, though. Yeah. So um, the dying Dauntless isn't. No. And my shields are technically up. Yes, so I can't I can't actually board you. So uh, you can't teleport strike me. Yeah, you can, can't teleport strike you. can board me as you move in yes. with assault boats and harpoons yes. and all that good stuff Yes. to board me. We're now going to do some maths. Yeah. We're going to do that and come back to you in a moment because it's fiddly. Okay, we've done some maths, and we've, <laughs> we've realised that Sophie boarding me with a crippled ship actually makes the boarding better for me, because she's basically feeding me a dying ship for me to finish off. So, rewind, and she's going to shoot with that ship instead. So, the crippled Dauntless is just going to fire its broadside into mm -hmm. me, and also, I assume, broadside into the Idolater. Uh, no, it can't because oh, it's broken. It's broken. It's oh, broken. very good. So it's a, it's a single dice because yeah. you're crippled and so on and so forth. No, no, very good. Back where we were. Yes. So we totaled up all the boarding action bonuses mm -hmm. and penalties. So what it comes to is we both roll d6, adding bonuses based on what we've got in play. Yeah. You are on one more than I am. Yes. So may as well at the same time. Yeah. Here we go. It's a draw. Ah, a draw is a stalemate. Both boarding ships remain locked in combat, oh. and we cannot do anything with either ship until one of them dies. <laughs> yes. So, no weapons, no uh, no teleport strikes, nothing until next end phase, we do it again. Wonderful. And we keep going until somebody's dead. Yes. Cool. Okay. <laughs> um, I think that's it for your turn, isn't it? It is. Can I do anything else? I don't think I can. That is going to be it for my turn. We're going on to Chaos, turn four.
The forces of chaos turn for. Yes, I might be able to make a comeback here. I say a comeback. I've not lost a capital ship yet. Don't call it a comeback. I mostly lost two of them. <laughs> so movement. I have once again reloaded ordnance with the Hecate. Old reliable. Each ship ten keeps doing it every turn. Mm -hmm. And I figure I need to do something about the Overlord. Yes. Because it is closing and haven't made a start on it yet. It's like when you're dealing with a warlord in Titanicus in turn four and going, I, haven't, I need to do something about that. Yes. Um, the idolator has moved around to here and is now facing the cobra. I can finally bring that one-shot lance to bear. A bit of luck and I can remove it, which would be nice. Mm -hmm. The slaughter has moved around and I think we'll be able to avoid flying off the table. Yeah, we will actually, because it'll go 10 and then it can turn, so it'll be fine. It's going to probably see if it can bring down one of the dauntlesses. In fact, my brace orders have gone now, haven't they? Uh, yes, because yes. you braced... On your last turn. Yes, yes. correct. Uh, which will matter for boarding. Yes. Um, and that's it for movement, because of course the Inferno is not going anywhere. Mm. Shooting. This wouldn't take very long. Uh, the idolator, idolator is going to shoot the Cobra. Yes, I'm going to try and lead a ship, so I get plus one because of your orders, is Correct. that right? No. No. So, weapons battery, looking for a five. It's a hit. Yes. There go your shields. And Lance. Lance. It's a hit, so it's yes. a kill. So one blast marker, I hopefully the boat overlap me if we angle it properly, so... or is it going to? That is touching me. Yeah. Yep. And oh, then whatever. We'll stick another blast marker. Yep. Those torpedoes will get rid of them because they're not relevant anymore. Yep, they're gone. Cool. That frees up the slaughter to try and shoot a dauntless without having to pass yes. leadership check. Are we within 30 centimetres or have we made a silly mistake? Oh, you are not stem to stem, unfortunately, <laughs> with this. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's 30 of all guns. <laughs> well, you would have only shot the Cobra, so... Uh, yeah, yeah. And I couldn't make it any better than I had to. Uh, that was the best I could do. Mm -hmm. Otherwise I'll fly off the board next turn, which would be bad. Fair enough! Uh, let's go on to the Hecate then. So, it's got its Prowl weapons. Yes. Um, its Prowl weapons are going to go into him. It's going to try and pass mm -hmm. the Legion check so it can fire the Dorsal Lance at the Dauntless. Yes. I, I think killing the Dauntless is a better idea. We do yeah. pass. So, broadside and dorsal lances into him. Yes. And prowl weapons battery into the overland. So, oh, overland, good. we are closing. No, we're not. We are a beam. Yes. We are firepower six. Capital ship that is a beam. That is going to be down to one. And then one left shift because we are within 15 centimeters. So, mm -hmm. two shots. I won't be bracing on this. That makes sense to me. That uh, is no hits. Yes. And then into the Dauntless. I won't be bracing on this either. Interesting. Mm. Uh, where are we? Firepower 4. You are a beam. Yes. Are you just going into the 1? Yes. Yeah. Because I need them dead. Yeah. Um, would it make any difference if I went into both? Other than where the blast marker would go, it would knock out my own shields. Yeah. But, uh, Fine, I guess. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll target both. Okay. Uh, you don't count a stationary as far as I know, do you? No, I don't think so. No. Uh, I assume not. So you are a beam, so firepower four, you are one shot, and then it'll be two lances. Okay. That is a miss. And that is two hits with the lances, so one will knock out his shield, mm -hmm. one will do a point of damage. Is it a critical hit? Yes? Yes! What critical hit is it? It is... Bulkhead Collapse plus D6 damage. That is Starship Kill! The Starship Kill! What happens to him? Mm -hmm. That is a six. Uh, he's a Drifting Hulk. Okay. He'll just drift off next turn. But he is killed, mm -hmm. which is big and clever. And then the Ordnance Phase. I'm going to launch... I feel like bombers. I feel like try and make the bombers work. Okay. Or I could break all your guns. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the right answer is. Mm. Mm. Expensive. Yes. Yes, quite. 
Yeah, we're going to go with bombers again because they've got a potential to spike quite high. Okay. So we launch four bombers, they fly into you, so you get your two turrets. Every two. time. Uh, 2d6 minus 2 to each of them. So that is a 0 and a 4. Cool. Four attacks. I should have asked before I rolled any dice if you wanted to brace, no, but I I'm, not. I'm not going to brace. I need his firepower. Yeah. Looking for fives then. Uh, one. Is so it a crit? It is a crit. Yes. Which crit is it? That is a nine, which is bridge smashed. Minus three to his leadership and you cannot repair it. Oh. As uh, Admiral Sophie has been uh, spaced. You've torn off my L plate. I've torn off your Admiral's well done. Yeah. Finally, it's been replaced by Captain Sophie. Try and reload that ordnance. And she's much more incompetent. <laughs> uh, so I'm down to seven. Yep. Uh, but seven. bridge smashed is not a bad thing and you can't repair it. No. Um, I think we just flew the bomber directly into the bridge. Yes. <laughs> uh, Boarding time. Oh, if you must. Uh, no, there's some stuff first, oh, isn't there? There is yes. damage control. Yes. Um, who's got crits? Uh, that matter. You can't fix that. Yeah, that's cool. it. Yeah. yeah, cool, okay. Last markers. Last markers. Six. Uh, oh, I have to have the other ones first. So one, two, three, three four, five. And I'll move that's not touching a ship because he's ah, dead. Ah, he's dead. Very good. Yes. Why can't I roll a seven? <laughs> Why is my luck so bad? Uh, right, that is that then. Yes. Teleport strikes. Crippled ships can't do it, but healthy mm -hmm. ships can. But my shields are up there and your shields are up there, so yep. do teleport strikes there. Boarding actions. Yes. Shall we do the maths off camera or can you work it out? Well, okay, so it's you're. It's not hits you've got remaining. You're boarding me, aren't you? Um, yes, yes, I suppose so. So I am on six and you're on three. For the boarding value. For the boarding value. Which is our number of hits remaining yes. plus our number of turrets we have. So. That Your means... boarding value is double mine. So I get plus two. Okay, so you're on a plus two so far. Mm -hmm. You are crippled. Yep. So that is plus four. In total. In total. And that is it. Okay, and, if, and for me? Yes. Uh, I am chaos. Yes, so you get plus, plus one. one. Cool, so I'm adding one to this. You're adding... Three. Three. Or I'm adding four, so I'm on a total of plus three. Plus three to your roll. Yes. Right, good. So you got six and I got one. Yes. I think this is the end. Let me consult the tome. Consult the tome! So what was the difference? So the difference was five. Okay. Well, the border result is called overwhelmed. Oh. Uh, so I suffer five damage. Right. And all five of them are crits. Oh. You suffer no damage from the turn. Very good. This kills the crab. <laughs> uh... I've got a ship kill! <laughs> Would you like to roll, see what happens to it? Yeah, um, so do I just roll to cast Oh, no, no, you don't. It's just oh. always a drifting hulk because you didn't oh. actually cause it to go critical, you just killed everyone on board. Okay. <laughs> well, this is good. And you're also now free to move next turn. Yes. Uh, well, that's a shame, isn't it? Uh, okay, it's interesting. Uh, we've got a cap two capital ships left each. Yes. And I've got an escort. So Imperium turn four. Four, yes. It's only turn four. It's only turn good four, grief. I believe. We could be wrong. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> There's eight turns, so we'll be done by turn time. eight. Yeah. We're back in a moment. Okay, Imperial Navy, turn four, possibly five. <laughs> We're not entirely sure. Sophie, you had a good movement phase. I did. I did. I managed to get all my orders off. Yeah. Uh, which was reload on both. Um, of my ships. Yeah, roll well, a double one for the overlords. So yes. despite the fact that Admiral Sophie has been spaced, yes. uh, Captain Sophie yes. has taken over command <laughs> and uh, yeah, ordnance reloaded. That could be very big. Yes. Your Dauntless has done a 90 degree turn and is staring down my Hecate. Yes. And uh, obviously these two are dead. We also have, mm -hmm. look, look, we have a little crippled cruiser as well. Yes. Uh, I need to get some sort of marker for the others so we, it's clear who's dead. But, yeah. uh, for now, Psh, these two are dead. Psh, psh, psh. He's dead. So, shooting. Yes, we are Sophie, going to what's first? open up with the Overlad, and we are going to put all its weaponry that it can into this, uh, the Hecate. Yes. Um, the reason being is I'm going to try and nab these with torpedoes later. Yeah. Uh, and I've got some guns going in 
to the side there, I might be able to pop off that escort. Yeah, because he's still touching that blast marker. Yes. Um, I'm, I just don't like having to do it. I want to be able to be reload and get those bombers back in the air, but I'm going to have to brace for this. Yes. So we are the ship 10 plus 1 because you're special orders. Yeah. Uh, we do pass. So we yes. are flipped from reload ordnance to brace for impact. And that means you will not be reloading ordnance it next turn. It does. So we have firepower 8 on a capital ship that is a beam. Yes. Um, so 8 goes down to 3. Now there is two shifts, I believe. Yep. So 1, 2, 1 for my targeting array. Yep. And 1 for within 15 centimetres. Indeed. So how many dice do you want now? We're on 6 dice. I think I was right to brace. Uh, looking for 5. Indeed. We've got 3. So you knock out my shields. Pop, pop. And 1 goes through. Can I shrug it on a 4? Yes. And then we have two lances. Very good. Is that right? Yes. Uh, you all, yes. Yes, yes. Yep. Dorsal lances. Ooh, it's a hit. It's a hit. Can I strike it out of four? Yes. yes. Oh, I can take out your, uh, your, your Hulk. It's brothers. already gone. <laughs> Okay, well I weathered that. So I believe I get to place the blast marker, is that right? So you place the first one as close to me as possible yes. and then fan them out in the direction of your choosing. So I'm going to fan it the other way as to not get in the way of the torpedoes. I'm still touch, ah, yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. you can fire the torpedoes, but not it's still touching a blast marker for weapons batteries. Yes. Not me having to go into it. No. I see what you're getting at. Uh, we're then going to put weapon batteries, we're going, a beam, it's, one. Into an escort. It's going to be one, isn't it? Yeah, I'm touching yeah. the blast marker. I'm going to brace. Okay. Because I don't lose much for bracing with a one a guy with one weapon battery. I pass. Yep. Uh, so I need five up. Yep. That's okay. a miss. Um, that's fine. Okay, ordnance phase. Yes. Oh, you fire your torpedoes. And fire move torpedoes. Them. Where are they going? So we are going to go... Uh, we're going to go straight into this ship. I'm going to measure it up in a second. It's going to... Go through me and off the table, isn't yes. it? And you're not going into the idolater? No. Okay. I have a plan for okay. that. It's not necessarily a good one, but it's a plan. So that is firepower six, and yes, you're one. dauntless? Firepower six. Okay, which is again going to go through me. Yes. Um, I hate having to do it, but I need that. It's only got two hits left, I have to brace. Yeah. It's also down to one turret because it's crippled. So I'm going to brace with the slaughter leadership six. Plus one through, oh, not with nine. So he is not braced. <laughs> this could be the end of him. Okay, do you shoot down a... A solitary torpedo? No. Nope. So I need fives. Nothing. 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 Whew, and I'm not braced. And we are going to do the same over here. Okay, so I am braced already mm -hmm. and I have... I'm not crippled, so I have my three turrets. Mm -hmm. I knock out two. Okay, so four. That is one. Brace for impact. We braced. Yes. No damage. No damage for that turn. And we will. We may as well get rid of those torpedoes. Yeah, they're not relevant. They're off the table. Um, end phase. Yes. Damage control. I'm going to... Uh, oh yeah, damage control. You can't fix your broken bridge. Have you got anything no. else? Nope. Uh, blast markers, because you could remove enough to bring my shields back up. Yes. Did you... Yes. You do. I do. One. So no two. teleport strikes. That's right. That is... that's swinging the game. Yep. We'll let Sophie faff around with the blast markers and her Defacty. nails. And uh, we'll be back in a moment for Chaos turn... Five! Yeah. We think. Maybe. Turn... five? Yeah. Probably. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't really matter. We are probably not going to make it to eight turns. Um, what have I done? Sucks I had to brace there, but it was worth it. Yeah. It was too risky not Ew, to. I would have crippled you otherwise. Yeah. yeah. So, what have we done? Movement, the Hecate has come round here, and uh, the eagle-eyed among you can see it heading directly into an asteroid field. That's fine. Yeah. It'll be fine. Uh, actually, you probably will be leadership 10. Yeah. And navigating an asteroid field is basically leadership. Yes. He is staring down his Dauntless. The goal is to kill that Dauntless this turn. Mm -hmm. And then, I think, Sophie, you said that even if, if you kill everything bar the Hecate, I still probably win on points. Yeah but we'll, we'll total it up when it yeah. comes to it. The Idolater did some wriggling and has now finally got its lance pointed at that Dauntless as well. Mm -hmm. And the Slaughter was millimetres from flying off the table or yes. magnetic disengaging. 
but we're just skirting the edge, still on two hull points, and we'll see what we do. We'll probably fire him last. Yeah. Maybe start softening up the Overlord if we're able to kill that Dauntless. Very good. So shooting? Yes. Hecate into your Dauntless. Uh, our weapons batteries, our broadside and our prior weapons, all said and done. Yes. We're on three shots. Would you like to brace? Uh, no, I need... Oh. <laughs> I'm going to see how... Oh, I do need him to live. And there's a lot of firepower coming into him. You there's can, three lances. You can call it after I roll all weapons batteries. Oh, okay. You call it when I roll a weapon. Oh, if right. you fail, you can't try it again until I fire a new ship. Yeah, okay. So if I whiff the weapons battery, you could then go, oh, well, I don't need to brace against the lance. Yeah, that's, that's probably what I'll do. Okay. Have a look. Cool. So Let's weapons go. batteries, looking for the fives. A whiff. No, I won't. La no? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, so one lance because I braced for impact. It is a hit, so it knocks yes. out your shields. Pop. Who's going next? The Idolater is going to have a go. So mm -hmm. a single weapons battery. Would you like to brace? No. Looking for a five. It's a hit. Ooh. Is it a crit? It's not a crit. So they're down to four. Yes. And um, a single lance. Yes. Like brace. <laughs> One more hit will cripple you. Yeah, and that's that's fine because I need I need the torpedoes. I know it's only three dice, but I need those torpedoes. Yeah. Not bracing. Not bracing. Very good. Looking for a four. That's a hit. Is um, it a crit? It's not a crit, but you're down to three. You're down to three. That is three. Yes. Or is it six? It's a six, six. but uh, uh, you mean three. three. And the slaughter is only range 30, so is he even within range of the Overlord? Stem to stem, yes. Stem to uh, stem, 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 no. stem, no. Well, that's simplified by decision making. Mm. So he is crippled. He is firepower eight and six for his weapons battery, so it'll be four and three. Very good. Into a capital ship that is closing. So it's going to be a three and a two. So it'll be five shots. Mm -hmm. It's polite to ask. Do you want to brace? No. Be following up with two lances. Uh, no, I, I will be fine. Okay. So fives. That is two hits. That takes out my shields. It does. And then a lance. Mm -hmm. He misses. Very good. Okay. Um, damage it. control? Any crits in play? I can't remember. I don't think I've got any. Either. Nope, nope, I don't think I do either. Um, blast markers, removing d6. Three. So we're going to go with one. And then two. Now. Now. Your leadership's already terrible. Yes. What's his leadership? Uh, six. No, six. seven. Seven. Leadership seven. And he's down to leadership, what, four? Yeah. Limiting your movements. Ah, this is difficult. Yeah. I'm going to remove this one no. because I don't think you're going to roll under a four again. Okay. And teleport strikes. No boarding actions. No. Imperium turn five. Yes. Turn five. <laughs> and this is this is becoming a little bit of a slog now. Yeah. But we've got some good firing arcs. Yeah, walk so us through it. I have moved my overland over here. We are within firing arcs of yeah. both of the enemy capital ships. You did fail to reload ordnance though, which I is did. why you're not pointing at me. Yes. Um, I did, however, reload ordnance over here. Yes. And we will be firing ordnance in the end mm -hmm. over here. Um, okay, so we are first going to kick off the festivities. We've got the dorsal weapons, the batteries going over here, and the batteries going there Ooh. as a demonstration of the Imperial might. Can you make a leadership check? Because if you want to fire that dorsal lance at the Hecate, you'll have to pass it. Very good. You can. Yes. Okay, so you, okay, so you can fire it where you want. Yeah. So, Imperial might both broadsides firing simultaneously. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be bracing with both ships. Okay, over here. He... Leadership six. Minus one because he's crippled? Uh, he doesn't can't matter. remember, but he doesn't pass on seven. So, one. Knocks out the shield. Knocks out the shield. Is it? Oh, no, it's not a crit. Nope. Um, and his shields oh, are down. But maybe I should have done. Oh, for goodness sake. What done? Or maybe I should have put the lances over there so I could actually kill you. Um. Um, <laughs> all right, we're going to go over here. Are you going to brace? 
Unfortunately, I kind of need to. Brace, brace, brace. Uh, yes, I am braced. There we go. And it's nothing. Nothing and the on the shields. Is, the shields are down. Very which is good. Well, is it? It might mean your torpedo salvo yeah. dies. So. Actually, Although you can fan it out the other direction, yeah. can't you? So. You have a clear line of fire with those torpedoes. Yes, those torpedoes are going to fire. It is only three, though. Okay. Can you shoot them down? I hope so. I'm not crippled yet, so I'm still no. on my full three turrets. I knock out one. So that is only two, and I need fives. No. No, and they're gone. Again, I've... It's one of those things I have a feeling I've just clutched defeat from the jaws of victory. Yeah, because um, I, at this point, don't need to do that much damage to secure a victory. D6 blast markers. Oh, yes. Three, so I'm going to go one, two... You can teleport strike me. No, you can't, you're crippled. Never mind. Yeah. Three. Okay. We'll be back then for Chaos Turn 6. Mm. Turn six, and these are getting rapider and rapider. <laughs> it's not really much thought at this point, is there? No. It's obvious what we're doing. My movement. My Hulk has flown off the board. Yes. Uh, my Hecate flew through the asteroid field, made its leadership check, mm. but if you pass, you don't need to worry about it, and just made it out the other side to also be just within 15 of Sophie's last remaining Dauntless. <sighs> so this is going to be a punishing salvo. Mm. I say that I'm braced, so it's not going to be that punishing. Yeah. Uh, the Idolater has swept round, tailing that Dauntless, and will go for the kill if the Hecate can't do it. And if all else fails, the Slaughter's out of range, so it's probably going to be shooting the, uh, the Overlord. Yeah, okay. I expect it's out of range, it looks yeah. like it. Uh, but we've just gone our full speed this way, and actually, if there is another turn, I might just keep going. Yeah. <laughs> because it's worth victory points. Uh, probably should have done all the head full in hindsight. Ah, oh, whatever. Shooting! I am going to begin with the Hecate. When all is said and done with the column shift and so on and so forth, I'm on three dice for my weapons into your Dauntless. I'm going to try and brace. On a seven? On a seven. Plus one, because I'm on a special order. Yes, I get it. Cool. So I am braced, braced, braced. Okay. How do you like it? How do you like it? Uh, I like it. Yeah, I'll do that. Let's take one hit. Take one shield. Shield. No. And then the little lance is a mess. Yes. That's not what we needed. The idolater, one shot with its weapon, is a miss. One shot with its lance is a hit. Do you successfully brace? I do. No. I'm gonna check the range of the slaughter. That's miles out of range. Yeah. The slaughter is going to try and shoot the, uh, the, the uh, what's it called again? Overlord. Yes. I'm not going to brace. Okay, half and firepower. So we are on a four and a three on a capital ship that's, moved, that's a beam. So we are on a one and we are on a one. So two weapons mm -hmm. and a lance. Yeah. Oops. Weapons. Fives. A hit. Knocking off a shield. Yes. Lance. Knocking off another shield. Couldn't have done the other way around, could you guys? <laughs> Uh, is that it? Yeah. Uh, no damage control. Okay. Blast markers. Two. We'll get rid of that one and that one. Uh, I can't teleport strike with an escort. Oh. It's not allowed. It's against the rules. And you are braced. And I'm braced anyway and not within yeah. ten, so couldn't do it. What a whiff of a turn. Yes. We'll go on to Imperium, turn six. Yes. It's Imperium. It's turn six, probably. Yeah. Not much left. <laughs> Sophie, what's going on? We're going to fire the Overlad into your slaughter. Yeah, you, you've come around, haven't you? You were yeah. thinking about coming to new heading, but it wasn't a good idea. And what's your Dauntless done? Uh, it's Scarpered. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still going to put one shot into your thing. Yeah, but you're behind the asteroid field, as far as my Hecate is concerned. Oh, that's a hit. You're yeah. not coming my shields. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. The main course. Would you like to brace? I certainly would. I am leadership six plus one because you are on special orders. I fail. That yeah. sounds like the death bell ringing. Six, uh, fives. So that is three, so that will kill it. It certainly will, yeah. Um, do you want to roll the catastrophic damage? Yeah. Drifting Hulk. It's a Hulk. Yes. Very good. I haven't had a model for that. 
That's well, it's a good thing no one flew off the table. There we go. But that's a kill, and uh, that could be big. Yes. Uh, damage control, no one's hurt. Blast markers. Uh, oh, yeah. Some. Six, Six, all of them are gone. Three, yeah. No teleport strikes, no boarding actions. Chaos turn seven coming up. Don't they with the cows, please? <laughs> <laughs> What have we done? Uh, the Hecate had to fly away, unfortunately. I'm not going to be shooting anything with, it, anything with it this turn. But we have reloaded ordnance and we have bombers ready to launch. However, they're only range 20, so I'm not going to be bombing you this turn. It'll have to be a turn 8 kill if this doesn't work. Yes. But the Idolater has used Lock On, so mm -hmm. I cannot make any turns, but I can reroll all hits with my weapons. Yes. So I'm still only on one shot because to get the lance in arc, I had to go in your side arc, unfortunately. Yeah. And again, it couldn't turn. So <laughs> um, let's see what we can do. So I've got a weapons battery, one shot. Are you bracing? Uh, I'll wait and see if you hit. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to try and brace, which I do. You do. So then the lance is a hit. Do you shrug it? Yes. Yes. Oh, goodness sakes. And this blast marker has to basically go there. And then it disappears. Oh, well, actually, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Good point. Um, that's oh, no, 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 no. Then the... Oh, my bomber's gone. Where's my Thunderhawk? Uh, a wave of bombers is going to go like this. And I'm going to try and head you off. Because... I go in a straight line. I need to intercept you. Yes. So you're going to go 10 forward, mm -hmm. and then you're going to go... What's his, he's crippled, so minus yeah. five to his movement, so another... Very good here. There's mathematics happening here, yeah. so... I think I have to go directly for the asteroid field to catch you. Okay. That'll so I'm going to try that. On a six, they just fly into the asteroids yes. and die. Oh. <sighs> Saw it. So, and I'll have to roll again next turn. Yes. It's will be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. <laughs> cool. Imperium turn seven coming up. Imperium turn seven. Yes. This was going to take longer to explain than it is to actually play. Yeah. <laughs> Sophie. Uh, the... I came to a new heading over here. Yes. Uh, and then I'm going to fire everything over here. I'm trying to run. Yeah, you but... can't outrun the bombers, but you no. might outrun my guns. Yes. So, shooting. The Dauntless can't see anything. Yes, so we will go over here. We have three guns. I'm going to try and brace yes. with the Idolater. Uh, on a six. Yes, I do. Yes. I think. Um, Pretty sure I do. So we are... We've got two. So shields go, and then one goes through. Do I survive? Yes. And then two lances. Uh, one lance. A one lance. Because you came to a new heading. Oh, very good. No. Yes. Gosh darn it. And then, it's the bombers. It's the bombers! But do they fly into asteroids? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I needed that to work. Um, Very good. Yeah. Uh, blast markers. I one. get rid of this one. One of the ones from the Hulks are yeah. just still shedding bits. Right, can I try and kill that Dauntless Do you want to just do it live on camera? Yeah, okay. Do you want to reload? Um, Will I reach you in time? Because I have to go like this, and yeah. like this, and then 20 to here, and you get to move, but bombers won't catch you. Okay. Uh, so, no. Uh, I. So I'm just going to have to go... Actually, probably the... Oh, what's his range? Give me my stats. 60 and 45. So 60, 60 centimetres will get you in range. See, I have to keep catching. Yeah. Inches. <laughs> Uh, so can you check how far 45 is for me? 45 is over to here. Okay. So I could go 10 to here, mm -hmm. and then 10 at that. I'm... Let's move your 10 forwards. Yes. There you go, there's your 10 forwards. Hmm. I'm going to try to come to a new heading with him. I think it's necessary. Uh, on an 8, yes he is, yeah. so we get... Nice degree turn, and then we'll go our full uh, 15 that way. Okay. Okay. Is that going to be enough? Ah, oh, within 45. Okay. 
the dream's alive. Yes. The idolater is going to try to lock on. Uh, braced. There, uh, yeah, that's a good point. Well, I rolled mine anyway. But uh, yes, you are correct. Uh, so it's just going to go yeah. 15 to there, chasing you. Come here. Right, shooting. Uh, let's go with the idolater first. I'm going to try and brace. Yep. We do get it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, am I going to be on two shots in our Mox and Brace? So from the Idolater, one weapon, miss, one lance, hits, knocks out your shield. And yours. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> and the Hecate, uh, halving firepower, so we're down mm. to uh, six and two, oh, so three and two. Yes. Um, are you moving away? I am moving away. So we've got three. Yep. Moving away. Uh, that's two, one over because 30 centimetres, yes. is that correct? So you're on one okay. and one. One and one. So yeah. two weapons and then two lance. One lance because I'm yeah. halving the effectiveness. Weapons. A hit. We're Stop good. it. One lance. No, I can't kill you. Okay. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Do you know what? Straight onto it. <laughs> uh, whoa, one thing. Oh, no, you're crippled. I was going to say you could teleport yeah. strike me, but you're no. crippled. Well, anyway, straight on to turn eight. Yes. Uh, Are you going to run? You're going to kill. D6 blast marks. Oh, yes, something. yes. Good point. They're all gone. No, they're all gone. Well, there's no more turns after this. Yes. So I'm going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to move anything. I'm not going to do any orders. Okay. Sophie well, calculating live. Uh, no, let's try and lock on with you. Okay. Uh, I need, I get plus one. Because I'm a special order, so yeah. you pass. Pass. So I go 10 centimetres. Yep. And that's it. Uh, yes, why is your movement only 10 centimetres? Because I've only got a 20 centimetre. Oh, yeah, that's correct, yes. Uh, <laughs> I am learning yes. this game. <laughs> and we will go 12 and a half. Oh, no, we'll go 10. Yep. And 90 degree turn. Yeah, 90 degree turn. And I'm crippled, so that is half. Yes. 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 Yeah. Crippled, minus five. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Straight on to shooting then. We will. Bird of that poor I want, I, I'm making boom noises, but I don't know how they come across on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> so we are going. Eight. Oh, brace. Um, yeah, fair enough. Are you moving away? Yes. Yeah, I'm moving are. away. I successfully brace on a three. Very good. Moving away, escorts. Uh, eight. Uh, minus one, so I get three dice. Okay. No. And two lances. You are locked on. Oh. Roll your misses. We roll my misses. You knock out my shields. And then the lances, blast markers. Two lances, falls re-rolling, it's dead. Oh no, I've got my brace. Brace, brace, brace. It's dead. Boom. Okay. <laughs> right, we will toss up the scores and we will see who has won that. It feels pretty close. It feels I'm, I'm very don't know who's close. won this. So yeah, we'll have a look. So mathematics have occurred. <laughs> There's a lot of it in this game, isn't there? A lot of it. A lot of it. There's so many numbers. How many numbers? Too many. Yeah. And they're all the centimetres as well, so yeah. there's always more of them than you expect. Yeah. Um, do you want to explain how the scoring works? No, because I don't really know. <laughs> okay. It's one point per point of damage you do. Yeah. Um, escorts aren't counted beyond that, because a point of damage on escort is a kill as well. Then plus one point per crippled capital ship, or plus three points for each destroyed capital ship. Mm -hmm. So when all was said and done, total score came to... 29.27 to Alex. Good game. So, well played. Well played. That was a slog, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, yeah. We thought, a turn eight. Who goes to eight turns? Yeah. Who needs eight turns? And then we played for eight full turns. Yeah. Possibly uh, nine. I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, possibly nine. We may have miscounted. Uh, yeah, which I don't think would have made much difference to um, yeah, Gothic, interesting game. I. How did you find the Chaos Fleet? This is your second outing on the channel with it? I enjoy playing them. Yeah. Um, I really like that compared to your ships, all my ships have prow weapons batteries. Mm. 
uh, meaning they're almost always contributing something. I don't have to worry about getting torpedoes into arc and so on, because I can always fire front, left, and right. I think my little escorts, the idolaters, are great. They're so good. Yeah. The, the two turrets on them. Yeah, well, and two, the two weapons back. Oh, and two turrets as well, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah they're really good little ships. Amazing. And because their weapons battery is only firepower two, meaning it's almost always firepower one, yeah. you can quite happily say, I'll brace, yeah. I'll go on a special order, I'll, I'll Whatever. Yeah. shoot from outside effective range, it doesn't really matter, it's just one shot down range, seeing if it does anything, and then the lance. So yeah, they were good. Um, the Hecate was a new one for me. Mm. Uh, my flagship is usually a Styx, which is a uh, heavy carrier. So it's got um, six hangar bays rather than four, but it has no broadsides. Uh, I quite like this. Like, mm. it, it's definitely noticeable having two less in the hangars, but having those broadsides is quite a nice addition to the ship. Uh, how did you find flying the Imperium? Because you've not you've, you're banking toward orcs, but you've not played. I you've played I, two games of this and one game with my Chaos Fleet. Yes. It, yeah? So I have. I very much like the idea of the Imperial ships, um, but this fleet at this point's level. It's not doing it for me. Not a fan of Cobras. Um, Cobras are awful. <laughs> I'm just like, wow, I've got six of them and they're all dead. Oh, they, they died turn two. Yeah. Uh, they didn't do anything. Um, they, they literally did nothing. I don't think they did any damage. Nope. Um, they sucked up a small amount of firepower, but not much. Like you can squadron them up to six and you've got a firepower 12 salvo, I guess, but... Mm -hmm. um, I. I if I was to design this list, I would get rid of all six. Um, the the light cruisers, could, I, I could see being useful um, at a higher points level. Yeah, at this points level, the fleet you're trying out, which again is a friend's fleet, he's kindly loaned to us indefinitely. So thank you, James. Your fleet is bad, but thank you for lending it to us. Um, yeah, at this, you've not really got an anvil no. in your fleet. Uh, that said, your Dauntless has stuck around for quite some time, but yeah. if you traded in, say, three Dauntlesses for another ship of the line, yeah. um, who knows? Yeah. What do you think of Gothic in general? Um, I've not got used to it yet. It's, okay. there's, and it's also one of the games where I don't know, I essentially don't know if, if what good? I'm doing is good, I don't know, there is lessons to be learned. Um, I can tell I made so many tactical errors. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, you just don't quite know. Like, yeah, you play war games, but you're not 100% sure if this is going to be the right call. It reminds me of my early days playing, playing Titanicus, mm. of the exact same feeling of you commit to an action and go, oh, I'm, I'm out of position. Yeah. I've now got nothing in arc. I mm. should have seen that coming. You're obviously going to do that, but I've made a mistake and now I'm... I'm going to be punished for it hard. Yeah. Whereas war games like 40k, like AOS, I can't speak for heresy, but I might be right here. They, you tend to be able to more commit to a plan and see it through for your entire turn. Yeah. Um, 40k again, you can go around, going to move it, going to move like this, going to shoot like this, and then you can have a turn to react. Gothic isn't alternating, is not alternating activations, but it still kind of has that feeling of because mm. you've got limited turning and you have to move. You can find, oh, what have I done? Why is that ship there pointed at nothing? Um, which is a learning curve. Yeah. Um, that said, I personally really like the fact that it does feel intuitive. Yes. To an extent, like, the, like Titanicus does, when you understand how firing arcs work, 40k is often not an intuitive game. It doesn't look or oh, act like a real war game. Or... No, I, it's... it's... I, I could go and rant on about <laughs> This is not a rant about 40k, this is why I think Gothic is good, because yeah. the ships feel to me like Age of Sail battleships, but in space. Yeah. Uh, and the manoeuvres that feel like they would make sense in reality make sense in Gothic, kind of, sometimes. The boarding action was fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, you shoot a ship and then you board it. Ah, I quite like that. Yeah. yeah. You didn't get to ram? Didn't get my ram off. Um, do you know what I would have done differently? Go on. Uh, the Overlord straight down the middle. I made such a mistake putting that on a flank. Yeah. Um, it's again, it's it's funny because in other war games you don't want to put your big piece in the middle necessarily. 
uh, because it'll get swamped. Mm. Whereas here, no, that's what a cruiser or at higher points what a battleship is for. Because yeah. it can't turn <laughs> or move very far, so it needs to be effective from turn one. So it should be going just straight down yes. the middle. And then you've got your little Dauntlesses on the flanks to yeah. outmaneuver and your escorts screening those or interfering. Um, but again, lessons learned for another game. Yeah. Would you play it again? Um, oh, <laughs> it wasn't an instant yes. <laughs> it's. I have enjoyed it, but it's another system that is complex. Um, and I think if there was a local scene, I would be more. I think if it was a more supported game, hmm. that's what would really get me into it. The fact that it's fan made for me. It's. it's fan patched. Patched. It was written by GW. Yeah. Okay. We weren't on solid food at the time, but it was written yeah. by GW. <laughs> yeah, it's. I would love to see an update. I would love to see it brought into a proper rules team um, mm. and proper model support, because at the minute these were all 3D printed. But I would love to see some sort of really nice detailed plastic uh, miniatures. I think that would be amazing for Gothic, and I, I'm sure it'll come. I'm sure it'll come I think it's their only specialist game left that hasn't, other than maybe Gorka Morka. Uh, Epic. Is oh, one. an Epic. Yeah. Okay. And Man of War. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But that's that's really... And Mordheim, actually. Okay, yeah, there are a few. <laughs> a Mordheim and Warcry are kind of a... Uh, yeah. We've just lost half our viewers when you yeah. said <laughs> It's the, the, the old grognards who were here watching a classic Battlefield Gothic game have just left <laughs> when you said that more time is the same as Warcraft. Uh, like, it's, it's <laughs> fantasy skirmish You were game. saying AOS is a successor to Fantasy Next. <laughs> I mean, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it was seven years ago when it was released, so, you know. <laughs> uh, I get what you mean. I yeah. get what you mean. It's, it's, I, would, I would love to see it brought into the, the Games Workshop fold. Yeah. Um, and it's, yeah, that's what I would really enjoy. Um, how about you? Are you enjoying Gothic? I am. I, I, again, it's, for me, currently feels like Titanicus in a good way. Mm. In that I feel like I'm in the same teething period I was with Titanicus, where I'm, it's starting to make sense. And I'm really enjoying that. I like spaceships. I, I, yeah. I'm a simple man. Um, <laughs> like some spaceships. Yeah, it, 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 it's literally that. Um, I like that actually, while it's, it doesn't have you know, a, um, a local scene and you can't get the actual models by paying 30 quid for a battleship, they're actually very affordable when you have a friend with a 3D printer. Yeah. Like I, got, I was able to get this fleet on, on impulse. Uh, I'm looking at maybe getting some more other fleets at about a thousand points just so I've got others to play with so I can say to someone, play a game with me, I will give you the fleet. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, be curious to know what you guys think. Like, yeah. um, because you know, it is a niche game, it's about as niche as you can get. Um, particularly, I'd be interested to know what, pe what the old guard think, who used to play Gothic, or maybe still keep, keep it alive, and what anyone else thinks who's never played it. Yeah. You know, do you want to see more of it covered, or is it a weird old <laughs> Grognard's game that uh, there's no point playing because there's no support for it? Uh, and we'll, we'll do as the, uh, the whims of the yes. community <laughs> request. It'll, it, it'll be one of those games that we'll chuck in every now and again, yeah. I think. It's not going to replace anything. No. No, not at all. Right, well, I think that's all that I've got to add. Yes, I think so too. So if you have enjoyed this, if you want to see more Battlefleet Gothic, drop us the comments below. Yep. Um, let us know. We do pay attention to what you guys say. Mm -hmm. um, if you enjoy this, like, subscribe, etc. Check out the Patreon as well. Um, I mean, this, this we could end up doing Battlefleet Gothic just maybe with the Patreon. Who knows? Yeah. But the options there. And of course, check out Composite our affiliate link if everything that supports the channel. In which case, it's goodbye from me. It's goodbye from me. And it's goodbye from the barrel. Goodbye. <laughs>